Okay, what up ladies and gents? It is your favorite Asian robot right here. And today I am going to work on automaton loadouts. Now a lot of people have been asking about them. A lot of people have been wanting to know what is the automaton loadout? For starters, it is not using only Welcome laser weapons. Aboard, um, because now if you use only laser weapons, you are likely to be very, very underpowered and you are going to die unless you are on very low level content. So, I would not recommend that, unless you really, really are in the mood to suffer. Okay, first Discord announcement, and then tweeting. Okay, posted. Dunzo. Hello, Nightshade. Demon time, what's up? Kazzy, hi. I have only just messaged you. Oh, I see. Now, is anybody joining me today? Yeah, the game crashing bug is very annoying, but it is what it is. So, welcome everybody. I hope you will all enjoy the show today. We are going to be facing off against the automatons. Uh, it's been a while since we fought them. So, I'm going to warm up first and see if my old tactics will still work. Good morning, Bear Paws. Yes, I am a Windows RAR. Now, you joining me, Rena? Are you going to stay on Power Wash Simulator? And I could use another man to die on Malevolent Creek. Now, first and foremost, I want to check the situation. Because today's order is actually to kill two Annihilator tanks. And it seems that uh, Helldivers are hard at work liberating Astanu. But we also have a fair few in the Trigon Sector on Ustotu, which is interesting. And in the Severin Sector, I believe 19,000 are fighting for Malevolent Creek. So, this is going to be interesting. Hello, Flesh Dadbot. You're the one who asked about automaton loadouts, right? Okay. Now, perish with every first and foremost, I'm going to dispel one myth. It is literally not anything to do with all laser weapons. Alright, in fact, the last seven dagger is so bad, I probably would not use it. Um, the Senator has uh, some good results against automatons. I say some because it's realistically not as good as the Redeemer when it comes to emergency situations. So I'm just going to say that straight up. It's a good gun, not a great gun. Well, the automatons are only left with two sectors. Dropnir was freed, I believe, this morning or last night. I can't remember. Yes, the last dagger is terrible. However, for automatons, the universal best weapon is the Plas 1 Scorcher. Why is this the case? Although the damage is not that high, it is extremely good because it can deal with scout striders simply by shooting from the front, which is not something that a lot of other weapons can lay claim to. Well, demon time. That's the danger of randos, unfortunately. It might be a shame that I have to go with randos tonight. Because the night stream usually has less people, but yes. Unfortunately, that may be the case. Well, unfortunately, that's what happens when you're not the squad leader, Demon Time. That's why being the squad leader is very important. I usually will not go anywhere that I'm not the squad leader. That way I control whom I adjust. But yes, the Plaza 1 Scorcher is the universal best weapon. A lot of the other weapons are great, but they don't have the one advantage that this one has. This one can take out a Scout Strider. 
from the front, which is what I like. And I'm actually quite happy because my girl Kazzy is watching me in the background, so yes. Now I'm going to be testing out the stun grenades against these guys and ignoring automaton outposts, as you guys know. Um, but if I am alone, then I may have to take the high explosive because I won't have a choice. So there are a variety of loadouts that can run with uh, automatons. There's a variety of ways that you can run automatons. I will show you the most basic of methods, but like I said, there are a few methods that you can all apply. Well, yes, that is what randoms are like. Oh, and of course, armor, my bad. For armor, please try and choose uh, medium or light armors. It's really up to you what you choose. The light gunner, if you're going to use a shield-based loadout, the light gunner is exceptionally good. Why? It offers you all the speed of a light set of armor, but uh, none of the weaknesses. The armor rating is the same as a medium tier armor. <laughs> Go ahead and play your power wash simulator. I'm alright. I can always level down. Now, it's been a while, so I'm just gonna warm up first. Quick warm up match. Initiating FTL jump to the malevolent. They fixed armor rating, but do you really want to give up speed? They have exploded since I played this game. What's the problem, Mr. Angry Mike? FTL jump successful. Mission Good night, BBS. Thank you for coming by. I mean, you you will still get popped no matter what. It's uh, automatons are always like that. So I'm just gonna start with a five, get the warm up in. I'm not actually gonna complete the whole operation. Just gonna do one mission on five. Okay, my pretty standard loadout, 500 kilogram bomb, you've got your arc throw, you've got your shield. Now this is for the sort of frontliner type uh, build. I usually go with this type of style if I have nothing, like if I've got nothing major that I want to do. I'll usually choose a frontliner type style. Um, this is because the only time I'll pick a sniper style is if I've already got somebody else to frontline for me. So that is something else uh, to consider. Then where's the autocannon sentry? There you are. Actually, I was told to test out the Tesla tower. Hmm. The question is, should I? You know what? Let's try it out. The ice flower, the ice flower will uh, kill you no matter what. I know, but some people actually claim that it's good. So let's test. It's only difficulty five. How bad could it be? Oh, landed outside an automaton base. How lovely. Whoo! Gotta love Malevolent Creek, eh? Whoo! Now this is this is what I like. Now. Lovely. I do love enemy artillery. Oh, hey, they fixed it. Jump packs are now, like, uh, given properly. Yeah, this morning we didn't have them. Oh, they're coming from over there. All right. Not too much of a bother, then. Okay, got me after. You don't say. Now, the arc door will work well against scout striders as well. Ooh, I got one shotted by that. Oof. Unfortunate. Well, that's what I get for touching supplies. Alright, alright, alright. Unlucky. But c'est la vie. Now, enemy artillery is to the northwest. Oh, 
Oh, that there is the thing. Okay, cool. Must be 100% call in time. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. I've forgotten how annoying this can be. Ah, oh, I see that. Ooh. Allied destroyer joining squadron, deploying Helldiver. Guns hitting for Warning, no damage? Uh, artillery. not really. I've never had that issue, so not quite sure what you mean. You might have to elaborate on that because there's never been that issue ever. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Your gun should always hit for whatever value is suitable for its armor penetration. Ah, devastators, annoying. Let's try this out. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm willing to try. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Ooh, darn. <laughs> that Tesla Tower didn't do shit. Oh well. Can't even hit the Hulk through the cover. Okay, Arctor is not gonna go so well today. Damn. Hulk Bruiser got me. That's an irritation. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Yeah. All automatons have medium or heavy armor, so you need to have a minimum of medium, at least, in order to kill any of them. Dropping a pin. Southwest, 50 meters. If you do not, if you do not have that, you are going to have a tough time. So yeah. I mean, the Tesla tower. I was told that I could just throw it onto them and it would work, but it seems that that's not the case, which means it's not effective. I'm pretty sure that there are other methodologies. So, that unfortunately will not work well on Malevolent Creek, and that annoys me a lot. Because I was told, oh, this will work. But, meh. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Some viewers, I'm always willing to test things because, look. A lot of people will always give advice on stream. They'll say, okay, I'll test it out. And I'll put it to the test because if I do, then, you know, and it doesn't work, then that's the proof right there. This is why I tell people, you can't trust things blindly. I will do the testing. They didn't nerf the railgun a bit. They nerfed the railgun to the ground. It is useful against automatons, but it's not the best choice. Um, it is something that can be useful, but ultimately you have to know how to use it. As you can see, this guy is using an airburst, right? Airbursts are not going to do anything against automatons. Not designed for that. If you want to kill this thing, you have to arc throw it about 8 to 10 times, last count. Or you can use a railgun, but you have to go on safe mode and hit it spot on. Not very easy to do for most people. Arc throw is, uh, I wouldn't say it's the best. It's suitable for a frontline role. Please remember that. Um, I would be very, very 
afraid of even saying that Arc Thrower is the best because it's not. Far from it. It is a... Ah, damn it. It is something that has a role, but it is not perfect. I have to kill my own Tesla Tower now. That's annoying. This is why I like trying stratagems. I don't know. Against automatons, I'm not feeling it. I've tried it twice now. It does not suit me at all. I mean, I guess some people might find some value out of it, but I'd probably bring along a auto cannon or something like that. That to me seems like it'll make a lot more sense than a Tesla. I got the terminal. Whoever used it, well, I wish them luck because it is not working at all. Arkthor does have a big learning curve. Well, spear and all that, I don't know. If they kick you for that, that is really weird. I never kick based on gear. I only kick if people are trolling. I don't really care what an individual brings to the field, so long as they do their job. If they do their job, I'm satisfied. If they choose not to do their job, then that is them problem. Well. I should never have gone with the 100% call in time. That is so irritating. Objective located. Northwest. And please do not ever let me catch any of you bringing the anti material rifle along. If I ever see an anti material rifle, okay, I'm not gonna kick you, but I'm gonna judge you pretty harshly because it is a very, very bad weapon against the automatons. Some people will convince you and say, Oh my god, it's so good, you can shoot hulks in the head with two shots. By the time you aim at its head, it's already going to kill you. So please do not freaking bring the anti-material rifle. Anyone who falls for that propaganda will be branded an automaton sympathizer. Alright, use a railgun like a real man. Okay, because that will actually kill a hulk in one shot. And I'll demonstrate that after this, but... Yeah, please, please, please do actually do the right thing and use the right stuff. Okay. He's got the encrypted hard drive. Tagging map. Northeast. Far. That's where Open he should garbage. go. Yeah, the, 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 it, the AMR is very difficult to aim. So unless you're going to use an aimbot... Now, this guy tried the same thing that I did with the plaz one. Mission at 30 minutes remaining. Okay, I'm heading straight there. Bots, northwest. Dropping package. Now against Devastators, the Arc Thor will get any of them in three shots anywhere on the body. You can sometimes get them in one. But the important thing is to understand that uh, if you really want to succeed at this game, you have to have a variety of loadouts. You can't just go one way. The reason is because automatons are supposed to be extra challenging. They're designed to be tough and they're designed to be countered in specific ways. That's what a lot of people who play against this, they don't seem to understand. They don't seem to understand that when you play against automatons, you have to be... You can't just be good. You have to be way better than good. You have to be the best. You have to know what every weapon does and why it does it. So for example, against automatons, right? What is the Arc Thor's design and role? The Arc Thor's design and role, as you can see, is literally to be a frontline damage dealer. That is what you do. You deal damage on the front lines, you sort of hold the line for your team. As long as you're doing that, you're okay. Oh my god, this thing has a stalwart. Lovely. Hey, these guys got bogged down, didn't they? The fact that they're clearing the outpost tells me that they're new. 
You never do that. Where did they leave the SSD? Jesus. with the dude. Okay, now, now that I have it, I'm off. See you losers later. Uh, I never clear the blobs. You should know why, Sinny. Are you trying to increase the spawn rate of patrols? The thing is, the anti-material rifle I feel that in its current state, what they should buff its armor penetration. It's an anti-material rifle. Tagging map, north, it should meters. penetrate all units, including the Hulk, completely. That's what it's literally designed to do. The anti-material rifle should be able to blast it open, and yes, it doesn't matter if it's more powerful than the railgun without the charging. It should be able to blast all units, because it is on... Like, you can reduce the ammo size to compensate, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But it's an anti-material rifle. It needs to go through material. It can even, like, I'm not expecting it to deal with tanks or even buildings and all the like. But if it's a unit, if it is a unit up to a hulk, it should clearly be able to rip through it instantaneously. But yeah, there's a reason you don't ever clear the outpost, because it increases the spawn time of patrols. Blobs meaning these things on the map, that's what she's talking about. She or he, actually, I don't know if they're gonna do, I shouldn't assume. Um, but yes, they're talking about the blotches on the map. That's what a blob is. Calling in reinforcements. I can bring him back Package here fire. if he wants. Yeah, you don't actually want to clear them because they will increase the number of patrols. So, it as, I know it makes very little sense, but that's how it is. So I try to avoid clearing them. Normally, I will not touch them. I'll just ignore them because they don't really bother me or do anything I much. I only clear secondary objectives and primary objectives as I see them. And again, it depends on team comp. If I'm running alone and I don't really care, I will focus solely on one thing. I'll focus solely on clearing the uh, any loot that I might find, uh, main objectives and uh, side objectives. That's it. No, they don't reduce patrol, Cindy. Didn't you see the Reddit post? Damn. You behind the times, man. All right, hold on. Let me let me see if I can get this. There you go. Hey, you can go read all the signs that they did. But yes, you don't. You they don't. They do not reduce patrols. They increase them. You kill. You, you kill more of these. They're gonna. They're gonna increase the overall patrols. So, not really wise. Arkdor can, if you get a lucky shot in the head, deal with these devastators in one shot, which is pretty nice. About 12 shots, uh, 10 to 12 shots for the hulks now. Interesting. Well, that's your first problem. You're not updated enough. You disappoint me. I'm so disappointed that I'll give you the disappointed dad look and remind you that you failed. Stupendous dive! 
There goes my head. You have shamed your entire family for not knowing this one obscure bit of knowledge. Yeah, I've seen the new leaks. I don't much care about the leaks until they're in-game, though. I try not to overhype on leaks because with other games... Now, definitely Helldivers has not disappointed on this, but... With a lot of other games, they tend to disappoint on leaks. Like, people will, like, leak this, leak that, and then it may not ever happen. So, I try not to get too hyped over leaks. I wait till there's a real announcement, you know? Then... Then I'll get excited. Calling down a support weapon. But yes, I actually have tested the information, and not clearing the outpost make, makes Helldive much easier to do. You have been a stolen line of freedom. Extract when okay. ready. I'm going straight south. See, Mortar, great weapon. But uh, it's mostly a team fragger, very dangerous, and also not the wisest choice. So I tend to avoid it. Damn, even blowing up that didn't clear it. Lol. That amused me. That would actually be a wise decision. I cannot fault that decision. I think it's a good choice. It would certainly be more helpful than most of the other choices being made. Time to disappear. talking about the AMR then I feel that they should but you know the railgun people will be all like but our railgun where I'm so sad our railgun didn't get bought you know that's that's probably what I expect them to sound like um it depends on how they buff it like I said for me personally it's an anti-material rifle it's supposed to go through units so I feel that it should one shot a devastator hulk or anything that is a normal unit but if it cannot deal with say um, tanks or scout striders or all that sure fine whatever that is about right yes ah more time placement my favorite right. Oh. Okay, that was the dumbest death ever. Smack myself with my plaz one for no reason. Lol. Oh, that was shameful and shitty. Where am I? Oh, I'm all the way back here, really? Well, gee, thanks. Oh, for real? Oh, Ion Storm, okay. Makes sense. Guess I'll just go back and run my stuff again. The AMR thermal scope would be fine if it actually penetrated cover. Uh, most of the time it doesn't. So, no, it's not. Nothing to do with mission length. If you actually read the post, mission length has nothing to do with that whatsoever. Come yeah, on. There we go. Maximus Blindo over here finally found it. 
Good work, Maximus Blindo. I like you, kid. Alright, come on. Sending in an eagle. This is where I'm gonna go. You can follow me if you like. The AMR should have a job to do. That's why I'm saying it should be an anti-unit rifle. I've said it time and time again, and I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. It's an anti-material rifle. Sure, it doesn't have to kill vehicles, but it's an anti-material rifle. Weapon. It's supposed to be anti-material for a reason. Requesting air support. Well, like I said, it actually has true negative consequences. If it didn't have any negative consequences, I'd say, you know, by all means, do whatever you please, but... Because it does genuinely have negative consequences. Uh, ooh. Okay, that may not be wise. Oh, my greed for my greed for stuff. Is they've already designed the railgun as far as I can tell the railgun's design its primary function and design is for anti-automaton that's the way I see it I could be very wrong but I'm quite certain that the railgun was always designed for anti-automaton to begin with so if that's the case then the AMR is the one that doesn't have a job I feel that the AMR should be switched to bugs give it a job to do against the bugs which would make sense because they are mostly da, 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 they're mostly creatures i mean we have we have sniper rifles that go through tanks in real life right now so you're telling me that we that that same sniper rifle cannot go through a bug's exoskeleton i am i am not convinced all right no matter how bad our technology is that would never be the case so for me personally, I feel that the AMR should at least be a complete bug shutout type solution. Exactly, it should pierce bugs, but of course, you could just use the autocannon. Hey Coulter, what's up? Yuri, hope you're enjoying Power Wash Simulator. Guess I'm gonna stay here then. I wish these guys good luck. And note to self, never bring along the, uh, never bring along the, uh, Tesla against the bots that doesn't do shit. So I don't know who suggested it last time, but god, it didn't work. <laughs> stupendous shot! Oh god, I'm so stupendous. Yeah, get your RAR fix. Hello, Raptor. How you doing? Ah, right. Who you damn lucky? Probably should be checking radar. Zap. Found something. Drop ship. <laughs> ETA T minus two minutes. Reinforcing. Just realized I'm not in my own stream room. They're gonna be uh, converging on us. Better clear that. Great, no radar. Oh man, I do so love planetary conditions. It's so beautiful, aren't they? Out of my way. Honk. Jesus. 
Eh, it's okay against bugs, it'll get you killed against automatons. So yeah, it's great if you only fight terminates like a coward. Then again, technically it can be useful, but just be very careful because you will... Oh lord. Well, at least now I know who brought the damn Mortar. He's gonna kick after this. If any, if I catch any of you bring a Mortar along... No. No, 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 no. Mortar is the number one team fragger. Do not bring it along for any serious mission. It will get you and your team killed. I'm skedaddling. This is the Plaz One Scorcher. Laser Rover's good. I love it against bugs, especially when I want to challenge, because shield against bugs is too easy. Yeah. So sometimes on 7, maybe 8, if I'm feeling spicy, I'll bring along a Laser Rover instead. It's fun. You know, um, you can get one shot by the Battle Spears again. You make, you know, it makes you feel alive, because bugs to me are a solved puzzle. They're very easy. Hell dive with bugs? Not an issue. But these automatons? Yeah, no. <laughs> Lazy gamer. You see his hand? Okay. You ever, I ever catch you being lazy in the fight for democracy, I will slap you with this hand so hard that your ancestors are gonna feel it. You know? Your ancestors are gonna be in heaven, like chilling, you know, he's gonna be like relaxing and looking on you at his descendant. And all of a sudden you get this slap, and then and your ancestor in heaven goes, feels it, is like, Oh my god damn, why my descendant got slapped like that? You know? That's good that's exactly what's gonna happen. So yes. Robots are a big challenge. Unfortunately not many people are up to that challenge. That was only a difficulty level five, as you can see. Uh, they do require some tactical thinking. Well hello Tamika. Crossplay fixed? Crossplay has always been working, but then again I don't play with any PS5 people, so I don't know. I always have my crossplay on, but I don't know if anyone's a PS5 player or not. Liberty is the okay, how do I return to my ship alone? Oh, I've got to kick everybody. Okay, well, that's all right. Goodbye to every single one of you. You're all gone. None of y'all made the cut. Goodbye. Get out of my team. Return to your place alone. Destroyer I'm going to the next level. Squadron. Okay, now on to the next. So I'll carry on with the standardized loadout. Um, not really seeing anything negative to it so far. Okay, now we go to level six. Now, let's go see what the effects are. Stratagem call in time 100%. Ha 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 Not happening. I ain't. I ain't rolling with that, ever. Uh, minus one slots, eh, I can live with that. Cooldown time increased, I could also live with that. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, if I'm gonna have to play with randos tonight, I think I'll go with the cooldown time increase. It's annoying, but that's. That's what I'll have to do. Okay, let's do this. Mission coordinates locked. Help pods prime. <laughs> 
I don't know if it will be liberated, but we'll see. Orbit synchronized. This is gonna be an interesting one. Right. No. This. Maybe it will someday. By the way, don't forget to like the stream if you haven't already. Did I land? Jeez Louise. Landing all over the shop here. Okay, where am I and who am I? That's where I need to go. Well, there is a point in using it if you don't have the new cutting edge war bond, of course. No pain, no freedom. There's something here. If you don't have the new cutting edge war bond, what do you use then, eh? Love how that didn't go past the fence. Glorious. Well, don't matter none. I do believe that is an annihilated tank. Now, how do you deal with an annihilated tank? Well, if you see one over there, make sure you have a 500 kilogram bomb, toss it onto the annihilated tank, and then watch as it gets annihilated. And there goes the annihilated tank. Any questions, ladies and gents? That's how you kill an annihilated tank right there. Yeah, true, but some people may not even want to spend 1,000 super credits. I think you underestimate how cheap people can be. Do not underestimate the cheapness of the average individual. Like me! But yes, the new laser weapon is generally superior. So I do not fault people for saying, what is the purpose of the regular assault rifle when the sickle is better? Eh. It does have its struggles on hot planets. I do have to admit that. Is there another tank over there? What happens if the tank dodges it? If the tank dodges it, then that's a skill issue, buddy. What do you call that accent? Which one? The Chinese one? And that's Uncle Roger accent. You know, yeah, I'm sure you you young folks know Uncle Roger, right? And I'm at the wrong place, dang. Okay, well. I guess I better get to it. Okay, so we're gonna go clear out this other uh, automaton base over here. This is the only time you'll see me clearing a base. Begin by firing copious amounts of thunder and lightning at your opponents. Please let that hit something. Dear sweet lord, please let that hit something. Can the Arkthor kill the Hulk? Yes, it takes about 10 shots, but it's possible. The Arkthor can kill everything except the tank. The tank takes 15 shots, and you will be dead by the time you shoot 15 shots. At least with the Hulk, you've got his chance, so, uh... That's why it can be used against the Hulk. But don't try using it against a tank unless you really, really want to be in trouble. If you really, really want to be in trouble, then do not say I did not warn you. Oh, 
Come on. Uh, you know what? I can't believe I have to aim and actually use my gun like a normal plebeian. This is beneath me. I'm a glorious arc thrower user. I shouldn't have to aim my gun like the rest of these nerds. I'm above that. I'm beyond that! Get out of my way, you damn bot. Who the hell is this V2? What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. I see one more nerd. There you are, you rocket powered nerd. Ah, Eagle Airstrike, perfect. And that's that. So, I'm gonna head east. Later, haters! Wait, why don't I have my... What? I don't have my primary weapon anymore? Oh, I just can't swap to it. What? Guys, I'm pressing number one on my keyboard. It don't give me a primary weapon. Well... That's a bug. Guess I'm playing Arc Thor only now. Ah, you see? There's a man using the rover. Do you see what happened to him? Did you see why that... What happened to that man using the rover over there? Now, children, what have we learned? Don't use the rover on bots. Now against a tank, technically you can use the arc thrower. But do you see how long it's taken? It's slower than the process of evolution. So by the time you actually kill it with an arc thrower, that thing's gonna kill your whole team. So I don't recommend using it. Well, it only wastes stims if they're badly positioned. I, you can use it against bugs, but against automatons, I would wager don't do that. Yeah, I've got no idea how to fix the no primary bug. It, it's very annoying. Found something. Yep. This is a bit of an issue, ain't it? Crikey. Yeah, now. Nah. It's alright. I've got this handled. Metal. Please tell me I have my primary back. No, I don't. Hashtag sad. And there ain't no stims either in this place. Okay, whatever. Guess I'm the lightning lord for a little bit longer. Call me the Lightning Lord for nothing. All right, Lightning Lord away. Let's go. It could reset the uh, bug, I assume. Wait, now I can't even change any weapon. I don't have my secondary either. Huh. Okay, pure Lightning Lord it is. Let's go. Fine, let's play that game. Extra challenge. It's gonna be fun otherwise, right? Requesting sentry. Requesting air support. Gotta give him enough of a dandy cap. Reinforcements 
Son of a gun. Okay. Calling down a sentry. Reloading. Calling sentry. Well, now I've got a Punisher. Your weapon is just gone, dude. Your weapon literally deletes itself from the game. I don't know how. But that's legendary, man. Your weapon is literally just deleted from the game. that annihilator tank right there it's about to annihilate us oh there goes my turret this is why they're called annihilator tanks love it they're great well hello scout strider very rude of you just show up unannounced like that Now you know who I am. I'm the Lightning Lord. Some also call me the Juicy Lord. Okay, here we go. Please give you a buff to 110 millimeter pods. Do I look like Joel to you? Dear sweet God, what have I got? What have I got myself into? Okay. All right. We're okay. Where's the SSD drive? Where's the fucking receptacle? Hello, robot. This is the receptacle. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Wow, this is bugged to hell. There's no SSD stratagem? Oh. There we go. Jesus. That guy had it the whole freaking time. That guy had it the whole freaking time. And he just decides, you know what? Nah, yeah, we don't need that. Okay, base destruction is a go. Dropping a pin. Welcome, Justin. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, gang. Let's get out. Time to get the hell out of here. Marking location. So far, so good. Dude, if I was part of the dev team, I would. I would nerf the railgun again and buff the flamethrower again. So flames will now do 150% burn damage. You can all thank me later. Oh, and I'll uh, and I'll nerf the orbital rail cannon as well because it's got rail in its name, which is not allowed. Y'all should know better than to use something with rail in the name. Requesting sentry. Okay. This operation was nice and smooth, eh? That weren't so bad, was it? <laughs> Excuse me. I 
I hope Kaz is enjoying all my random cheesy nonsense. I give you guys maximum cheese when entertaining you on stream. Respect my authority. I wonder, can I stand on my turret? I can stand on my turret. I feel a lot better about this. I feel... Invincible. Like an invulnerable part of a machine. Look at this. Yas! Guys, you just come hang out in voice, even if you're playing Overwatch in the background. You wanna know why? Because you're awesome. Does this guy wanna give me a hug? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these people. See, now these are good randos. I like these randos. Lol, Isaac. That's... That joke. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out. Time to get out of here. Don't get toasted by the engines, yeah? Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Okay. Time to go and do the next mission. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. We had a level 13 in that mission. I like that. I like that. I like seeing the little guys learn. Okay, now on to the next mission. I like the I like the arc thrower. If I'm the front line, it gives me a lot of opportunities to be the front line of the team and sort of push push performance. But obviously, not always suitable. Disappointing service, Jesus! How rude of them. But that's fine. Let them think it's disappointing. I will beat them, black and blue. They learn. You can catch me in my Lamborghini, black and yellow, black and yellow. I come rocking on the beat, a cappella, a cappella. All right, let's go. Oh, no. Uh, yes, aboard, personal order complete. Yes, yes, salute, salute. Skull Admiral, real Asian robot is on the job. It's time to go annihilate. Mission coordinates locked. Hell pods primed. Why would I come back to the bugs? We're not meant to win. <laughs> Mr. Charge of Behemoth. We're not meant to win yet. Listen, nerd castles. Each citizen is worth 25 requisition. Do you know how much we make per dive? Why am I concerned over 25 requisition? That ain't my, that ain't my worry, all right? I ain't worried about none of that. I'll tell you what I am worried about. I'm worried about what the next major order is and why it hasn't arrived yet. They're planning something. They're planning something fierce. There's something dark out there that's gonna happen. And I'm telling you, it's gonna get wild. Hello, Kaz. Ladies and gents, this is Kaz. If you haven't heard her before, she's Irish. Hola. Hola. I heard you call for me, but I, know. I was working on my blanket, so now I'm going to play Overwatch for a while. Go ahead. Now, yeah. give, me, give me permission to perv on you. Now, now, now. Yes, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> See, Hold perks. On. I'm sorry. Uh, apologies to anyone who has one, but Alexa. You need to turn the light down to 50%. Quickly, Alexa, play Careless Whispers now! I can't hear you, bro. Damn it. <laughs> Alexa, no, 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 no. 
I want to see if we get, um, if we get, what to get copyright claims for music. I was going to, I was very tempted to. <laughs> Expendable anti-tank fan. I do kind of like it if I'm chilling. If I'm not doing a serious mission, you can run that kind of stuff. But if you're doing a serious mission, eh, might not be the wisest no, of decisions. No. Just saying. <laughs> oh, right. This is an eradication mission. What am I doing here? This is a very, very bad idea. Very, very bad idea. Tossing that auto cannon. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this base. Smell you later. Now remember, when doing eradicate missions, here's what you do: you run the hell away and you never look back. Here come more bot drops. Woo, those are some hot drops. Uh, no, the raider was outside. Damn. I tried to get to a better position. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, I have my grenades. Hmm. Okay, so apparently I can't just uh, waltz over there. It sucks. How'd you like to chase all freedom? Oh yeah. Finally. Ready to liberate. Now we're talking. See, this is the outside of the combat zone, but if you play cards right, you can get a very good position to sort of zap everything else, which I personally like, but I might not be able to do that this time, so I might actually take a more proper position. Grab some of these. Why, hello there, random robots. Didn't know I invited you to the picnic. Oh, look. An illegal gathering, ladies and gents. guys ready for the lame jokes? I think these guys might find my tactics a little shocking. <laughs> oh lord. You love it. Don't you even deny. I failed. I failed. Damn right you do. Oh and that is a shredder tank ladies and gents. Shredder tanks are worse than annihilator tanks. Because they shred your skin very very easily. Please be very careful. Now, when faced with a shredder tank, what do you do? The correct thing to do is probably tag it and then hope that somebody else can handle it. Or... Eh, 
And over there, we have an annihilator tank. And these are rocket devastators. Got that one. Now. Helldiver, you are moving outside the mission area. You think I don't know that? Okay, you know what? I'm sick of you. Have that. Happy freaking trails. Can the EAT one-shot Hulk? It should theoretically be able to. But I cannot confirm because I've never really used it against the Hulk. So my apologies for not being able to confirm that. Woo! My thing dropped. Whoops. Of you. This is the wrong weapon, isn't it? Sweet liberty! My leg! My arm! Okay. I want to jump. Not today. Oh, damn, that poor fella. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. And the reason I don't ever do armor perks ranked in a video is because I hate those tier list videos. They teach people stupid things. There's no such thing as this armor is ranked higher than this armor. What, what, what the fuck do you mean? There is no such thing as that, B2 Fight. Only the stupidest of people follow those kinds of videos, and I'll tell you why. I'm not calling you guys stupid, but I'm going to tell you straight up. Only the dumbest people follow those videos. Here's, here's why, here's why. Let me explain it. Each armor has different perks, right? So, each armor also has different armor stats. You cannot exactly rank that because, for example, a person using server arm... A person using server arm has 50% more limb health, but they also in increase their throw range. They cannot withstand arc damage, though, right? So can we say that in a team of arc players, just as an example, a team of arc players, you bring along a guy with a servo arm, he is using a lower ranked item. But what if the team doesn't use the arc throw weapon at all? Then the arc throw armor, which would be S ranked in a team of arc players, would be D ranked in a team of non arc players. You can't rank on a scale like that because it's subjective. The, the problem is that when it comes to armor and perks, all of this is very subjective information. Every player yeah, plays different. Yeah, subjective. Yeah, what she said. But anyway, the democracy. <laughs> the point is, you can't you can't just say like, for example, light gunner armor. Oh my god, it's so great! It is S ranked. S ranked on what scale? What what is my measure? What what is my what is my testing data? On the Richter scale. Doesn't really work that way. You see, this is why I don't do stupid ass videos like this guy says oh my god guys hey welcome to my youtube channel today i'm gonna rank like all these armors like because because this is how i make fun of those youtubers i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to rank okay. all these armors like oh my god all of these armors are like so good like did you get this one in the store like this one oh my god it's got the fortified perk it reduces recoil like this is my favorite this is my bay i use this all the time like yo come on what what the hell 
Like, you can't do that, all right? The, the, the game doesn't work that way. You can't rank something that has no objective measure. You get what I mean? You know? Any tier list that puts the side at S rank, all right, is, is made by a dumbass, okay? You can, you can go there and tell them, hey, the Asian robot thinks you got that room temperature IQ because it's clear you don't understand shit about the game. <laughs> Everything is situational, Hazardous Matt. That's exactly right. That's why I don't do tier lists. I could do tier lists. I could do tier lists all day. You know, I could do tier lists and say, hey, this works this way. This works that way. This works... All I'm going to do is make you guys worse gamers, and I would never do that to you guys. I only test based on objective data. If it cannot be objectively proven, then it doesn't exist. Objective you know? data! <laughs> Go for it, Isaac. Go for it. All that drama is only going to make me stronger, because I'm the best. Yeah, see? Some people like the 50% chance to survive. That's not wrong. That is not wrong. That is a fantastic armor set. Rena likes to use that armor set. I personally, I hate that armor set. Why? Because I don't like it. It don't go with me. It's not my style, you know? It's not my swag. But, yeah, man, if you want to use it, you know, I'm not going to say no. I'm just going to judge you at a distance. Call you a nerd. Call you a noob. Call you disgusting. <laughs> you see, this guy over here, he likes servo-assisted stuff, you know? Old man can't, uh, can't actually use his own limbs. Has to get it servo-assisted. <laughs> hey, what up, Arcane? How you doing? Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking... I'm thinking pure evil. Do you guys like pure evil? Because I like pure evil. I'm gonna... 380 millimeter barrage. Yeah. Telpod launch initiated. Well, listen, of course I'm your favorite creator on Helldivers 2. I'm the best! I'm the best, people! See that? I've been saying that since day one, right, Cass? Mm hmm. But, real talk, okay? All jokes aside. I like to laugh. <laughs> the best a man can get. Yes, indeed. Thumbs up all the way. But, honest to God. Thank you. All jokes aside, the main reason is you should use what works for you and you should use what makes you feel most comfortable in the mission. What can give you the highest success rate. Never feel constrained by somebody saying, this is the best weapon in the game. Are you sure? Because I could be better with other weapons. I love the Plasma One Scorcher. Before Cutting Edge Warbond, everybody was like, oh my god, Plasma One Scorcher, Plasma One Scorcher. We all gotta farm the Plasma One Scorcher. And realistically, what happened? After the Slugger buff, everyone was using the Slugger instead. Come on. So how much for snake oil? Uh, I don't know. If you pay me $500, I'll give you this bottle of absolutely nothing. But you can have a salute. Okay, I will, I, will, I will send you a bottle of my sweat. How about that? Oh my god, Kaz. Okay, fine. Gamer girl sweat. You can have that. <laughs> JW, evil will always try because good is dumb. Nah, I'm the greatest and I'm the greatest good that the world will ever know. So it's okay. Evil will never triumph, because I'm the freaking best. Yes, automatons do need teamwork. And indeed, they are tougher than the bugs because they require players to think. They, requ they, they require players to not just follow a tier list and be like, Oh my god, guys, against, this, against the Terminates, here's what I like to use. This armor is S tier, guys. It is the S tier stratagem. If you bring this stratagem along, it is S tier, guys. Okay? Salute free cat hazards, man. What's my favorite mission type? Anything. I don't really care. Anything's fine. Uh, walking barrage? Nah. An orbital laser? Double nah. 500 kg bomb, okay? 500 kilogram bomb, and then some of the stratagems fine. All I really need is my arc door so far. I would love to use my railgun, but I would only use that if I have somebody else frontlining as the arc door player. Then I'll switch to sniper mode. That's when I go around going pew pew pew. This loading screen, what the hell? I'm trying to load into this mission, it's taking longer than the process of evolution. <laughs> I 
Arcane, if you're gonna hang out, you may as well join me. Now get in here. Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to abandon this because that is taking way too long. Orbital Rail Cannon's good, but it's on a long cooldown, so depending on the type of uh, mission effect you have, if you got 50% extra cooldown, right, on your mission, and you try and run Orbital Cannon, it becomes a nightmare. I've tried it on numerous occasions. It can get very sticky. It, not the good kind of sticky. Not the kind of sticky that I like. It's not the Kaz kind of sticky. It's the bad kind of sticky. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to load back into the game because that did not work. Shame. But it is what it is. <laughs> Super Earth. Our home. Well, it's not just that it player kills. The other problem with the orbital laser is that it's only three uses on a five minute cooldown. There's no, literally no point. It's way better to use other stuff in the game. It'll save you more. Keep you alive. Keep you smart. Keep you dangerous. Okay, Arcane has logged into Helldivers. All right. Looks like I shall have some assistance against these automatons on Malevolent Creek. I do not yet have this grenade set. I shall buy it. Yes. Okay. Your fellow Hello. Helldivers rage against the enemy's tyranny. Sup, nerd. Do it, ma'am. Sup. Yeah, the team killing issue is quite profound. Okay, while I wait, Kazzy, what you up to right now? I like destroyer. I'm Has in the match squadron. In the match? Okay. Are you winning? Mm -hmm. Um. I always ask her if she's winning. I don't know. Uh, this this one this is a bit odd. This one. <laughs> All right, do your best. And Baptiste, along with another Baptiste against two Moiras, I'm not really sure who's what. <laughs> Help us try. Well, do your best and good luck. Yeah, I'm not taking any of these ones seriously because this is madness. Okay. Orbit synchronized. Hmm. I'll deploy the localization. Just bring the Help Pod space optimization. Uh, this is 50% increase to the stratagem cooldown, so. Have to roll with that. Mm. Allied destroyer has joined. Yeah, I mean, what else healing them? Strike. But well, they have two fires, which is quite annoying. Well, do your best. Shoot those fires. Yeah, sure, B2 fight. Oh, if it's working for you, go for it. <laughs> I don't know it what... It is what it is. <laughs> I don't know what uh, level of gameplay you're playing that at, but hey, as long as you're having fun, buddy. For me, I have graduated from the Breaker and the Supply Backpack because both will not do very well in Hell Dive difficulty. Usually, it will result in a lot of death. Oh yeah, our king's the Arc Door person. Hmm. I'll show y'all some railgun gameplay on the next one. Now, that's assuming Enos over here and uh, Fierce Bear, these two randoms that just joined our team, this is assuming that they actually pick their stratagems instead of, you know, uh, going at the process of evolution right here. Hey, look, laser. <laughs> okay, so when you see orbital laser, so what you do is you press the escape button. <laughs> That's <laughs> yes, okay. You go to the social button, right? You go to your game, right? You see this Enos guy and you hold over kick. <laughs> <laughs> Seven or eight and you're still using the breaker and supply backpack? Jesus. Okay. Okay. Respect. 
Now how dare you use such a heretical loader. And he's bringing a flamethrower against automatons. Uh oh. And a rover. Sir. 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 <laughs> Does he know what we're fighting? Right. I mean, I'm gonna let him do it. I'm gonna let him do it, but if he wastes five reinforcements, you know, he will have to get the Bye. See, Kaz, the one thing I like about this game is that as the fire team leader, I can decide who gets kicked. <laughs> so. This guy, this guy, he might need a boot. Give him the boot. Put him in the chokey. I might have to. I might have to at this rate. Pinching pennies, Commander. I think I'm gonna have to ban you from my stream for spreading heretical lies about loadouts. That's disgusting, mate. How can you use orbital laser and walking barrage? You disgust me. Your very existence. Your very existence befouls the air. Your ancestors. Your ancestors roll in the nether realm, seeking vengeance for your very breath. Tagging map. Southeast, 200 meters. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. We appear to be in range of enemy artillery. Any idea where it's coming from? Yeah. Ah, there. Shall we? Oh, and of course, Enos is dead already. Wondrous. He's using an orbital air burst strike. Lovely. Um, right. I respect that. I'm gonna hide behind this rock of happiness because I am not dying for this man's sins. Throwing in 500. Now I'm gonna go over to that base all sneaky beaky like. Oh, I got killed by the mortar. You got killed by the mortar? See, you should have called on the ground like me. Alright. Hmm. That's what I learned in Junker Town. Gotta crawl across the ground. Now, when you finally get to the mortar, here's what you gotta do. Oh, you gotta go around the back. You go around the back, you see these vents. You start shooting them with your plas one. And they don't even budge. Alright, that's great. You know what? I'll just arc those and get it. Is it alright? I'm a master strategist. There you go. See? All part of me master plan. Now, let's get Adel out of here. Dropping a pin. South, 100 meters. 380 millimeter barrage. Ugh. EB, you've got no support weapons, no backpack. What? What? I mean, sure, uh, if it works for you, man. Just know that if you ever came into my game with that loadout, this hand. This hand will be used to slap you so hard your ancestor's gonna feel it. Rare sample acquired. The ancestor gonna be bing chilling in a chair and then all of a sudden he'll be like, Damn, why? I guess something gets slapped. I didn't even know I could get slapped in my incorporeal form. When you said that earlier on, I know it wasn't on voice, but my god, I wasn't even catching what I was <laughs> I know you crease stuff laughing. That's why I do it, because I know it entertains you. <laughs> Your ancestor gets slapped so hard that even Big Daddy Xi Jinping gonna say, Oh, damn! Damn! <laughs> okay, nice job. Is Ines dead again? Jeez Louise. This guy. Alright. Yes. Infinite stun. Can't do nothing to me. Infinite stun with what? The blitzer? The blitzer. Actually, wait, is it working against the bots? Yes, I've just like infinitely stunned this dude with the shield. Okay, okay. It was glorious. But did he kill him? He couldn't do anything. Yeah, I killed him. Oh shit, I gotta <laughs> try that. Shots, but... Like, he couldn't do anything. Like, well, he was just infinitely stunning. Him. If it stuns them, then that is a benefit to me. Okay. Hang on. Let me, don't, don't shoot those guys. 
No, I gotta shoot. Never mind. Because go. these guys will call in the bot props. I'll leave you a Devastator, but damn. I ain't leaving these guys around. I need, I need a Hulk. I need a Hulk to try this out. You just don't die like Enos, alright? I'm not picking up the pieces that you scatter all over this freaking stratosphere. <laughs> You're a robot, where are you? Wrong robot, I'm over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ion storm in progress. Oh, hell. There are robots over there that aren't, you haven't even noticed us. You can go over there and annoy them. Why don't you go play over there? Oh, it's not for our top times. Phew! Phew! Okay, Blasted. you had me worried for a second, V2 fight. Okay, you are safe from getting slapped so hard that your ancestors will feel it. Don't worry. Today, you will not get the hay. Pro gamers don't call this Has 9, you Deep Rock Galactic player. Disgust me with your Deep Rock Galactic nah, like wording and shit. How dare you play such a happy and nice game. We don't want your non-toxic persona around here. We only want the most toxic mm -hmm. players. We only want hate and anger and hey, there's a bunker. Look. Devastator, Devastator, Devastator. Wait, didn't look. Had to kill it. It was F3. Watch. Oh, okay. New mag. Oh, you're actually working on him. Nice. It just he can't do anything. That's actually pretty cool. Not bad. Okay, bunker time. Bunker about Marking location. I know this is a bunker. I was calling you for damn bunker. I'm on it. Got a oh. Minefield is toxic AF. Yes. <laughs> yes, because mines will kill your teammates. Super credits. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Papa needs a brand new bag. Oh, oh look, antimatter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not touching that. I think it got on my hands. Guys, I got antimaterial rifle cooties. I gotta wash my hands now. Now this is when I know not to disturb her because she's concentrating hard on keeping the team alive. She plays support in Overwatch, so she's probably busy kicking ass. I was trying. No, that's okay. You go hit. Just let me cleanse Sorry. my hands on your titties later, okay? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll wash oh. my hands with titties. <laughs> yeah. She's concentrating, but I love disturbing her anyway. Alright, um, we are almost to the lunch codes. Oh, collect and... Oh, it's collect and crypt. God. <sighs> okay, never mind. I have the tiger. Let's do this. Okay, I will grab the thing and run. Uh, cause I got a shield. Arcane can probably cover my retreat. Ah, oh, damn it! He called it in. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop him in time. Enemy artillery. Uh, this ain't good. On a scale of one to this, it's really not good. Rocket. That was a nice, uh, nice little drop. They're over there. Okay, Roger. Heading toward artillery. You can't stop me, robots. You can't even see me. They call me Sean Cena. Oh, yeah. Oh, here. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Whoa, 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 Isaac. That statement, that statement's no go. It's against YouTube terms of service, dude. Like. What he say? Yeah, he was making a joke, but it was a sexist joke. Anyway, Kaz would have put you in the chokey, so. Hey! You're, you're lucky she didn't see that. Anyway, it's against YouTube Keep terms of service. Out of here. Yeah, you can't say that, man. I know you're joking. I'm gonna take it as a joke this one time, but you cannot actually say that. Yeah, YouTube gets very sensitive. I can get my career camp for that. If I don't moderate it, so please be respectful at all times in my chat. We have an international audience and intergender as Ale well. And so. female pilot. Yeah. Damn it! So uh. that long. Warning, you are in range 
Yes, yes that's right, Renna. I am John Sidna. Okay, I'm gonna grab some supplies and I'm gonna get in there to that mortar base. I was quiet on the western front right now. Oop, damn. Yes, Isaac, that's why I had to give you a one minute timeout. But lucky it's only a one minute because if it was me, you'd have been in the chokey for at least 10 for your fourth point. Yeah, unfortunately, YouTube. Oh my god, where did he call me down? He called me down all. Ugh. Oh shit. I'm trying to throw you back in. Just be careful the contact mines. I thought I threw you in before them, but I guess not. Nah. Unfortunately not. Well, listen, Isaac, if you are against that kind of thing, then, well, good luck and goodbye. If you can't even accept the uh, most basic terms of service, then you're not welcome in our space. Okay, sorry, could you throw me in again? We got a devastated party coming up uh, around the mortar area. Hmm. That bounce hella far. As long as it's around the area, it's fine. If it is. Stun! I just landed on the Devastator, Stun. I don't care. I'm not against the Rocket Devastators and the like, but... For me personally, I feel that uh, the biggest annoyance is always dealing with a lot of these things when you're also dealing with other stuff on top of it. Like, the Mortar emplacements by themselves, because their bases are annoying enough. So to stop the deaths, you have to get rid of them. Then, you know, other people, if they don't help you with it. So Mortar, to me, on this map, right, the Mortars are pretty much the same as the artillery. Uh, sorry, as the same as the Stalker layer on the bugs. They are the biggest priority. Players need to immediately deviate and stop them, because they will frag your entire team. So, if players don't immediately deviate and, you know, get that stuff, then, well, usually results in some very unfortunate circumstances for the team. Yeah. Okay, enjoy. I hope you don't, Pinchy Penny's commander. I'd hate to have to ban two people today. Oh, rocket devastating. Yep. Okay, we gotta stop playing around now. We gotta get serious mode, because we're down on reinforcements. Dropping package. Okay. Where? Okay. Oh, right here. North. Oh, it just got launched. Auto cannon sentry is definitely good for the bugs. I do like it, but I also kind of like it for bots if I get the chance with it. Tagging okay. map. Now, where's that drive? One of them has it. Oh, does someone have it? Yeah, I'm gonna go grab it because it's somewhere around here. Somebody dropped it and just didn't care about it, so I'm trying to find it now. There it is. There it is. Okay, I'm going straight to base. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Time to run. Okay, okay. <coughs> okay, making it over.
This is one of the other issues with the uh, arc door, unfortunately. The range only being 50 meters, automatons will shoot you from beyond that. You always gotta be a bit careful. Sorry, Arcane. <laughs> Calling in reinforcements! Damn it. Bushes. I'm trying to get into this base, but. Apparently the entrance is a freaking maze. And these rocket guys. Bags empty. Alright. Dropping package. Get some! Get them! Package acquired! Okay, 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 okay. Devastators. Uh, there it is. Okay, make it go. Ooh, nice. Ah, Twitch streamers. I hate them. So, if you ever encounter a Twitch streamer, personal order from the YouTube commander. Murder them in cold blood. You see TTV in the name, or you see Twitch in the name, type in chat for YouTube, and then just blast them in the head. Okay? Tell them, tell them the real Asian robot sent you. If you're from Twitch, you shall be disrespected immediately. That's right. What's the alignment? 180, okay, easy. I got the I've got this one. Cover me! Oh dear, 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 oh dear. Okay, it's transmitting the data. I'm heading in. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Hey, listen, I'm always base pinching pennies. You see a Twitch streamer, you know what to do. All right, you gotta throw up that robot gang sign. I'm on the terminal. That's okay. How bad could it be? It's only a difficulty six. I'm back. No, Welcome back. Crying now. Okay. Back. I will attempt to stop <laughs> crying now. My tear ducts, you know, we're going into overdrive right there. <laughs> you can stop crying too. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar today. That's my problem. Yeah, it's okay. Nothing wrong with sugar. Well, there isn't a diabetic problem. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But listen, since you have all that energy, quickly, send me that thing I like. <laughs> Do it. Do it. No. Oh, by the way, I'm abandoning all of you. <laughs> what do you mean, no? How dare you? Very dare. Yeah, do it. You got the sugar in you. Okay, let me annihilate these devastators. I found a point of interest, I'm gonna loot it, so I've killed the devastators around it. And there's one more apparently. Okay, he's dead. And this is not actually useful stuff. I 
collected what I saw. No, the extract. Thoughts on Sun Grenade? Very good. I like it. But uh, I'm not using it right now because I wasn't sure who'd be on my team. So if I've got something else to take care of uh, things, I actually like the Stun Grenade. I want to try it on tanks, so I'm actually going to be doing that shortly. You're going toward the extract, right? Because I'm going to touch this POI first. Yeah. Okay, you call it in. I'll go to that glowy yellow thing. It's nearby. And I got light armor. So I can run. Mission at 20 minutes remaining. Okay, this may not go as well as planned. Can we call an extraction? Yeah, yeah, please do, please do. I. Normally I wouldn't I would have gone straight to the point and just had fun, but um, the big problem is that I wasn't expecting a patrol to just freaking show up out of nowhere and I don't know what the randomizers are doing, so Oh, actually I think I can get I can make it. Got the devastator, okay. One minute, 20 seconds, I can make it. Easy. Jar 5 Dominator is a good weapon. It's okay, but it doesn't penetrate. Like, it's a good weapon, but not a great weapon. It does have medium armor penetration, so it's pretty good against automatons, and some people do like it. Apparently, you can 3-tap hulks in the head, etc., etc., so on and so forth. But, um... It cannot tap the Scout Striders from the front. So I prefer the Plaz 1 versus the Jar 5. The Jar 5 does do better against Devastators and certain other enemies though. So that is a fact and um, it is something well worth considering. It depends, like I said, on what you want to achieve. If you are alright and you don't fear the Scout Striders, you think you're totally fine on dealing with them, then you know by all means go ahead and uh, bring in the jar five if you feel that you may not survive with that then it would probably be unwise to bring that in plaz one would probably do better in most general situations but plaz one being an explosive weapon can kill you the jar five cannot oh my god this guy used a defensive thing why would i why would i send enos to italy I don't understand that. I'm not giving him... He has failed me. I'm not giving him no expensive paid vacation in Europe. I'd go myself. For other reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Quite frankly, the reason I don't pick up rare samples is because I'm capped out. I do try and pick some up if I see them. Mostly if I've got lower levels on my team, but otherwise I don't really bother. I don't really need samples. Like I said, we're totally capped out. Most people are usually capped out already. Oh, it's because Italy looks like a boot. Ah, yeah, well. He was an utter crap. and We may get different people as we go up to seven. Actually, you're right. I'm going to test the sickle out. That is the next thing on my... Why is Malevolent Creek zero? I saw a squad impact three and it contributed zero. <laughs> what?
you're back quickly. Well done. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. Okay, let's see. Allied destroyer has left squadron. Okay. <laughs> did you find a sea cast? <laughs> Your message? Yes, I did. The galactic yes. War. yes. A battleground awaiting. I knew because you laughed. <laughs> yes, yes, I Sugar titties. Yes. What? I don't want Blitzers to destroy. Lol. We near Let's operational see. completion. Uh. Yeah, okay, it looks like we'll have to put up with it. Yeah, Good just choice. put up with it. What? For democracy. For democracy, just put up with it. Yeah, sure. I'll think about it. Orbit synchronized. Okay. We have one less stratagem here. Oh, yay. What about here? Let's drop us at extraction. Easiest thing. Oops. Yeah, help out space optimization. Eagle airstrike. Uh, no choice was no chance for stun grenades. We just gotta take out the fabs and go, so I'll just bring eagle airstrikes and just bomb them. But I'll test out the sickle as well. That is something that I had on my mind. <coughs> Stop dying, you fool! I'm still waking up. Weakness. We shall see how great it is. If it disappoints me. Hello, rocket. Guys. Oh, God. Hmm. Maybe you are right. Maybe it is great. Oh, damn. Oh, Yeah, it's told me next year, whatever. I haven't called in anything. Ooh, ooh, wrong button. Wrong button again. Your boomer reflexes. Reinforcing. Ah! Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Yeah, who would have thought? Join the threat. Dropping in at base would be a problem. Allied destroyer joining squadron. Deploying Helldiver. <laughs> ooh, killed by environment. What? What environment was possibly killed me? I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. You might need your arc door <laughs> because the blitzer is not getting through that scout strider. Oh. Liberty save me! Let's reinforce when you can. With your boom reflexes. Thank you. There we go. Appreciate ya. Yeah, that's what I get. Alright. So, apparently extraction is also a base. Ha! Ah. Yeah. Now let's go kick their asses. How dare they even breathe. One fabricator down. Dropping a pin. Southeast. Yeah, do it. Or tagging map go this west a hundred meters. Way. 
you not climb the thing, please? Lovely. Oh, did it blast you off? Yep. Well, you guys take care of that then. I'll move on. Admit, not bad. Sure, I can't take out scout striders, but hmm. definitely not bad. Air support. I'm tossing. Coming up behind us. You have been a line of when ready. Okay. Dropping a pin. Let's get at him. Yeah, the fire rate's very good for sure. Tactical asset near your location. I gotta admit, I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. It's actually pretty decent. And with no recoil, it can be used pretty effectively, obviously. Not when you're in the middle of a swarm, but technically you shouldn't be against automatons anyway. Oh, we're just gonna extract, not loot? Yep. It's blitz search and destroy. You, you can loot for the next six minutes. Well, I was gonna do the radar, but it's it's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we got a lot of time to explore, so. God, stupid bushes. Okay, everybody off the planet. Down to get an eagle. Countdown initiated. Stand by 
Okay, they all made it. Good. I'm satisfied with that. Thank you for all the likes on stream, fam. Keep it going. What you laughing at? Hmm. Nothing. It's a good day to use so few hell divers. Okay, on to the next. Find the old vein. Prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. Now this time around I may take something a little different. Orbit synchronized. This time around, I will show y'all the uh, general railgun strat jam. Uh, you can run it two ways. You can either run it with supply pack or you can run it with shield generator. If you've got somebody else that's using Arcthor doing the frontline stuff, then you can sort of run. Sh um, you can choose to run with the supply pack, but I'm going to run shield generator version, so here we go. You, real king. Well, if they want. At least he's anti armor, so he's bringing a variety of stuff, which is good. I won't fault a man for bringing a variety of weapons. I'll only fault them if they fail. Kaz, you enjoying the background banter? <laughs> Discord cut you out, so that was the smallest piece I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> but I still heard it, so it's all good. Better than not hearing it at all, right? Right? Ah, I see the enemy attack. Coming down to support weapon. Warning, you are in you're always in range of enemy artillery. Yep. That way. Put the railgun straight into unsafe mode, off to the artillery. Oh, I didn't know I was in range of enemy artillery. Jeez. Whatever should I have done? Requesting air support. Sending in the first bomb. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Dropping one more 500. That should clear. Okay, enemy artillery down. I'm heading there to the east. I got a lot of rocket guys on me. Okay. Boss, 
Where are these rocket guys? Oh, there they are. Thank you. There we go. Sickle won't do anything to their head, to their backs, but it will hit most weak spots, which is good. Okay. Oh shit, we activated two. Right. Yep. It's okay. Not like it makes the explosion any bigger. Well, that's one more hell bomb. Now, the big problem with the railgun is that it's great against hulks, but it sucks against the shield, the heavy devastators, so you may have to get somebody else to deal with that. Every weapon has its strengths and weaknesses. This is what makes, like, automatons so interesting. Because you can't just use one tactic. You gotta use more than one tactic. I didn't. Oh, come on, I dodged. I can't get a clean shot <clears> on him. <throat> there we go. Much better. Throw me into your left. Ah, okay. You already did it. Calling down objective equipment. Calling down supplies. Beautiful. Reloading. It better freaking be because we got more coming in. Got a devastator on me. Yep. Oh, damn it! You came in front. You literally walked in front of me, buddy. I was beside you. Yeah, I was proning on the ground. And you just walked in front of my shot, and you just got ripped. The guy behind you. Who are you aiming right at? You. Yep. Already missing my arc door. Yep. Reloading. 
The biggest problem to the railgun is that it's good at a distance, but very, very annoying to use properly. I got the terminal. The other guy went all the way over there to take out the mortar emplacement, I guess. Okay, I mean, whatever makes him happy. Time to head on over there. I hope he knows I'm going to ignore that outpost for the most part. I'm going to clear whatever's looking at us and go. Everything's looking at us. Good. They better chase us across the map then, because I'm leaving. A testing ground would actually be nice, not important. I yeah, the railgun is basically uh, more of a sniper, which is the whole reason why. We don't need a sniper in the first place, which actually makes the whole process more annoying. I wish they had understood more distinctly what each one is supposed to be about. And done things up accordingly, but oh well. Or is there a question mark over here? See, this is some I kind of what it was. machine, but no. There doesn't seem to be anything, to be honest. Huh. If there was a bunker there, I can see it. Eh, not really. I disagree with that because, quite frankly, they're still useless up close and personal, and you do still get swarmed on the bot missions. So, with the railgun, while decent, not really as useful as, say, the Arc Thor. But then again, it does have its purpose. And also, EATs, Recoilless, all these are good choices. For automatons, I feel that variety is important. But sniping is still a bit difficult overall. Simply due to the sheer number of enemies and the angles from which they can assault you. Not very conducive to sniping, as much as I would love to. that way. I would say the Bile Titan would probably smelt that entire automaton tank. But it depends on who finds who first. If the Bile Titan, you know, sights the automaton tank first... Oh! kill myself. Whoops. Watch out, there's a Hulk there. Yep, 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 right where I died. They called me in and I'm very grateful for that, but there is a hope. And he is not happy. The rocket devastator, bunch of everything. Yeah, it's, in the, it's a whole patrol. Requesting advanced weaponry. Oh, hey. An arc thrower. Yoink! Rude. You have another. I do. So I'll trust you. Do you 
half the time. I use my blitzer half the time. Hello, tank. Uh, two or five hundred directly on it, so please be careful. Stuff. And another one. We are attempting to have this, yes? You've got this. No attempt. You've got this. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Technically, since the guy is shooting down the dropships, I can't complain too much. Okay. Zapped it. Can't shoot through the tree, really? Yeah, I know. That's why Malevolent Creek was so problematic because we literally cannot shoot through trees. I need ammo. Yeah, the sickle seemed to blow up the vents anyway. I don't know. It'll need more testing because this is the only time I've ever tried. I had the angle to even try it on the tank, so yeah. Railgun is not the best support weapon. There's no best support weapon against the automatons. Each weapon has a role. I personally prefer the Arc Thor because it, although it's short range, it gives me a lot of flexibility in combat and deals with most things. The other good choices are the Spear, the Recoilless Rifle. These are very good choices. Shoot down the dropships, help your team. Like, there's no one path with automatons, and I think this is what everybody has to understand. Um, it's different from terminates. With terminates, one, one plan works good, no need to change, no need to think. But the issue with automatons is that when you have, when you have a variety of, you know, um, enemies fighting against you, you yourself must adapt to that. Ver Literally couldn't see the terminal because my silly gun hanging on my waist, like a big iron on my hip. Okay, bot drops coming. Oh. I got the terminal. Here comes the shy hulud. There they are. I don't think you noticed me. Reloading. Oh, that's a tank. Heavy, Where? Oh. On my side. Roger. Going around. Requesting advanced weaponry. I have one stim left. Well, true. But somebody will have to sacrifice, so. Air support. Either you do or somebody else. Aw, damn. Sorry. What a waste. I just chucked everything I had. I didn't realize you were. Yep, yep. It's okay. 
Just wasted all my ammunition. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Jesus! Dude runs away from the rocket devastator and I... It hits me instead because it was salvoing in that area. Ugh. Watch out, rocket devastators down there. And a Hulk. And another tank. Well, they're gonna have to deal with it because I have no shield and no equipment. Thanks to that guy. This is why, guys, if you see something, ping it. Have a shield. I'm gonna find my stuff. I don't care. I want my stuff back. At least take a shield so you're somewhat secure. Oh, nope. Got exploded by a devastator. No. Oh, no. Oh, there goes 500 kilograms. And is, there's an ions. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Just toss me in when you can. This is why, guys, please ping everything. It might sound annoying, but it's very important that you ping. Oh, this is a tank. Oh, this is a rocket devastator. Oh, this is here. This is that. If you do not do that, it's going to be pretty bad for everybody involved. So always, always ping, no matter what. It literally is like one button. See, that's a tank. Another tank. Hey, that strategy apparently works. Okay, so I chucked every single grenade I had at the tank, it worked. Yes, it does, it really works, I love it. <laughs> Except now... Heal, 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 heal. Okay. No. no. Engaging terminal. Things are about to get a little spicier. But now I've got Mark or shield back, so... Do you need supplies? They're up here. Yep, it's okay. See a tank? Yep, I threw a 500 there. Bullets. Yep. Oh. Didn't mean to kill myself. Oh. Well. No. Freaking devastators, bro. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Eh, cover is so useless. I'm sure that the arc will eventually get nerfed, yeah. But, meh. Even if they do, they're gonna have to give us other options. They can't just they can't just take away the arc and give us nothing. Because what are we supposed to do against literal enemies that have bullshit mechanics? Like, it just doesn't work. That's the problem. If they if they didn't if their enemies weren't pure bullshit with aimbot then we don't need it either. The only reason to use arc throw is because it's easy to aim. There we go. Good work. Yeah, 
stuff. Extraction is available. You have everything? Okay. There's still uh, supplies up here if you need to re up. No, I'm good because I died so much. <laughs> it's another patrol coming in to where you're running. Yeah, but either way, like I said, I don't think the arc is overpowered in its current situation. 50 meter range is more than enough as a limit. I mean, it might be a little overtuned against bugs, but that's more an issue of the bugs not being balanced. Like, there's no other options that you can use against a swarm or a horde, so what are you gonna do? You know? EAT is amazing, yes, but the problem is that they are expendable. You get two every 70 seconds. So, while great, not exactly the permanent solution. So, you do have to think very hard before using that kind of thing. And even then, you'd still be relegated to a support role. Compared to a lot of the other players in the round who would probably be doing more active damage. So, you do have to consider that. Like, some sacrifices always have to be made when it comes to automatons. I think that the game, as is in its current state, is already hard enough that we should be applying the current tactics. What they should focus on now is bringing up some of the weapons that never get used. That should be the next thing, so that we have more build variety. The more build variety you have, the better. You see, right now there's so many weapons in the game that are literally not used and Calling never will be used. Because they, they serve no purpose. Or other options was better. And a good support weapon setup, Nicholas. Uh, my honest opinion is that at least one person has to be arc thrower. It's very good for AOE horde clear, things like that. One person should carry the spear or recoilless. Depends on how they function with it. If they're good with it, then absolutely. If not, then I understand. But that would generally be considered helpful. Reinforcing! Going to the support weapon! I don't know where my sh my rail gun went off to, but whatever. Because even the arc thrower, as much as people like using it, has its flaws. It is not a flawless weapon. So I feel that when people say it's overpowered, yes, people like it right now, and it's very useful. But I actually think it's far from overpowered because it has. Oh my god, where was that rocket devastator even killing me from? Man. You see, automatons are literal are literal bullshit. So how do you how do you expect to kill them? This is why nobody fights the automaton battles, which is sad. Like it people yeah. favor the terminids because the terminids are easy to understand. They don't they don't hit you with magical bullshit from, you know, 500 bajillion meters. It, it doesn't work that way. And that is how the game is intended to work. Where did my shield pack go? Oh, there's one over there. Dropping. No, no, this guy, this guy took it. It's okay though. I got another one here. Oh, it's it's oh, is it right there. Go and check if he has samples. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, everybody in. Stop killing you. This guy. Ungrateful, we should be glad I don't kick him. There we go. Extraction Yeah, I know, right? Like, dude, you choose to stand in the path of people shooting the arc door, so. You should never, ever use the MP98 Knight. It is literal trash. If you want to use it, you are literally a detriment to your team. I'd rather you bring a breaker. 
Because the MP98 Knight is very, very bad. One of the worst weapons in the game, damage-wise especially. Like, if you're gonna bring that, you may as well bring the Sickle. It's got the same armor penetration value, literally unlimited ammo. You can fire it on full auto. I see no reason not to use it. Welcome back. So yeah, I think that the um, that the MP ninety eight is literally useless. Useless, he says. Manage democracy calls yep. for aid. Mission coordinates locked. Right, back to my crochet blanket I go. Had enough to do Okay, enjoy your uh, crocheting blankets. Crochet. <laughs> Orbit synchronized. I'm gonna try and drop my ship. Um, it's just blast the drop ships. It's not too difficult, but it can be a bit of a pain. I think I'll go back to Eagle Airstrike. I don't know. I like the 500 kilograms, but it's not enough for me. It's not enough. Well, no, the Jar 5 is way better than the MP98. Don't forget, medium armor pen, you can take out spore spewers, you can actually, it actually does a lot. So, I'm not sure why people would, like, it, the MP98 is so bad compared to the Jar 5 that they're not even the same tier. Jar 5 is actually one of the best, you know. So, that is definitely a statement I will 100% disagree on. Lol. Best of the best. Live up to your name. Live <laughs> Lol. Damn. Oh. Damn. It's okay though. Phew. Reporting to the front. There. There you go. That's a parachute. You wish. I'll grab the samples just in case the level 33 needs them. So now we shall be your background crochet music. Well, crochet banter. <laughs> Think she got disconnected? Or is that? Oh, okay. Oh, damn! Oh! Oh yeah, it could have been. She was taking the lessons. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Okay. That Marauder was rough. No, I didn't throw it far enough. No, that's fine. That should be okay. I don't see it as a negative. Ah, uh, the behind is too. Okay, we're clear. Okay, give me a second. Sending in an eagle. Requesting air support. Oh my god. For real? Okay, I'm in. He's murdered back. Literally cannot see a damn thing. Shield. Okay, I killed these guys. Dropping a pin. Legal broadcast right there. Ooh. What happened to that dude? I think he blew himself up. 
No, he must hit a mine. Oh, jammer, jammer. Yeah, jammer's over there. To your right. We gotta go take it out. Oh, I ran over a mine too. Well, at least he's still alive. Where is... The jammer is here. I'm gonna take it out. Enemy tactical asset within range. I can get it. It's one with the uh, thingy. Oh, I see it. Locked to it. I'm like, what? Coming in northwest, 100 meters. There we go. Reinforcing. Automaton oh, no. facility destroyed. Okay. You gotta reinforce them on this stuff. Oh, that's okay. You can walk back. Support weapon, south. Cancel that. We've got equipment, south. Support weapon. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. The MP98 cannot destroy medium armor, though. It's a. It cannot penetrate medium armor. It is a light armor penetrating weapon, so if you're penetrating medium armor with it, that's a bug. Watch out for the grenades! Oh, okay. Tagging map. Northwest. Far. Sending in Normally I wouldn't take out the outpost, but it doesn't really matter. Democracy's on its way! I'm gonna blast this one, because it's in my way. Careful, buddy. That works. So that's fine. Spot fabricator, note requesting air support. Unleashing democracy. Perfect though. Okay, that's another light out post done. Careful, Ion Storm. Requesting air support. Stream should not be lagging. Damn it. Uh, one sec, I'll check. It could be. Okay, yep. Oh, the new major order finally came out. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, I dove into the rocket devastator rockets. They're behind you, by the way. I killed them, but they killed me. Where is the rocket? It was behind you. To the front. I'll see where I died. There was a patrol that was coming behind because I was checking on things. Because YouTube, for some reason, was having like, ooh, we're not receiving enough video data. I was like, what? It should be solved now. So, apologies for that. Package acquired. Dropping package. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's a rare occurrence, but YouTube sometimes does that. I don't know why. Okay, the dude already engaged the terminal. We can go now. Dropping a pin. East bar. We're gonna have to go north. Dropping a pin. Northeast. Far. Automaton facility destroyed. The only problem with uh, making the energy weapons weaker than projectile weapons is that they kind of can't make weapons weaker than they already are. That's the only issue. Because as it is, they are weak enough. I think if they made them any weaker, we wouldn't even be able to kill any of these bots. So, yeah. For me, I feel that the weapon balance is fine. Oh, welcome back, Kaz. Thanks, I got a phone call. Oh, okay. Just I'm going to take the phone call than it is to hear two people talking to me here. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I thought you might have gone for your crochet class. I was like, okay, I'll hang out with her later. No, no, I got a phone call. I'll get, I'll get. I mean, either way, I wouldn't have minded. I know. Mission at 30. How's your dad? Doing okay? Yeah, yeah. He's back from Texas. So, I see. having had a ball of a time, apparently. Good. Glad he to hear that. His friend introduced him to a Mexican millionaire, so he was living life. Wow. Damn. Mm. I gotta get introduced to some Mexican millionaire who donate to my stream. <laughs> I don't remember that meme cardigan's rule, that's for sure. Sending in an eagle. Dropping a pin. Northeast, 200 meters. Let's kill on the base. Automatons are marching to our right. Let's cross the landmass. Hey, Rock of Happiness rode across. Calling down a support oh, I see it. Enemy elite. South, 50 I hope meters. they don't touch that thing because there's a Hulk patrol over there. Is a cannon tower. Ooh. Okay, it's on me. Ooh. You go. Go around, go around. <laughs> zap it, zap it. That's it, that's it. Oh! Oh, is that so? Love it. Oh no. Don't aim for me. Don't aim for me. Heal, 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 heal. heal. You. You are in range of yeah. Wood. <laughs> oh my god. And we have we need requesting air support. Okay, wait. We're going back to the rock. There. Oh, oh, shit. Maybe if he keeps saying his name, he might turn up and help, but I don't think he will. Lol. 
Oh, you might yeah. you never know. The oh, tower yeah. stopped attacking us, but we are in range of the artillery, so. Hey, he's so far stuff. back. No, he, he, I tried. Your stuff's over here next to right next to me. Oh, okay. Uh, I get it. Literally I was, I was wondering because I saw you throw me, then I was, then I realized, oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's say we go for that artillery. Yep. Uh, ion storm. Yeah. Ion storm. We'll have to do this manually. It's okay though. Okay, eight shots and that'll clear it. There's one more. Ah, here it is. Okay, grand. Did you really dive in front of us? Oh, we're shooting my arcs. <laughs> Me? No, the teammate. You just dove in front of us while we're shooting arcs. I didn't see him do like, that. I know. <laughs> There's a tank, there's a tank, there's a tank. Please, please, please be careful. There we go. Phew. I was just gonna charge it. Those yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Please do not encourage oh, this weirdness. <laughs> charge! Weirdness, always. <laughs> yes, well, I'd like to actually. Damn it! Not get blown up for once. <laughs> space super credits. Embrace, embrace the weirdness. I refuse politely. Well, we got super credits, so I'm a little a bit better. See, embrace the weirdness. No. Oh, dude, did I make that end? Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Tank to our left. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, so that's what was blowing me up. Dick tell me it's not gonna help you, bro. That. <laughs> oh, it doesn't play video, okay. It doesn't have the time. There he does. <laughs> and if he did, he'd Here be a go. healer with me in Overwatch. <laughs> okay, tank is cleared. <laughs> and there's another tank behind that tank. <laughs> I just got oh blown up. Oh god. I think, I think God would be the ultimate tank. Yes, indeed. I mean, who's who's gonna take God on, you know? <laughs> he smite your ass! Ha! Ah! You get it? Yep. I got yeeted into the stratosphere, but yes, I did. Did you chuck all your grenades at it? No, I just landed on it. And now I've got nothing, so oh, nice. you kill it. I'm running, I'm gonna run. Running? Okay, now we're Coward. Flee. Then go. And be weak for eternity. Mm. Oh, that's a rocket devastator. Okay, let's flee. <laughs> hey, bunker. There better be super credits in here. All right, let's go call in the extraction. Whew. I'm looking forward to all these balancing changes. Hopefully, they will all be good ones. Not sure who was trying to grenade that group, but. Oh dear. Oh dear. I walked into a mine. Oh. It just like. I'm just gonna crawl. Zip, 
zap zoom. Aha, see ya. Wanna be ya? Yep, exactly. Sending in those eagles. See yeah. that movement. That's right. Except my eagles come with ordnance explosives. Okay, there we go. Call it in, call it in. Let's get the hell out of here. No wonder nobody likes Malevolent Creek. This place is literally like freaking jungle. You can't see anything. Enemies just shoot you out of nowhere, especially with these. Oh god, there's a patrol right there. They've got aimbot. I mean, you're literally fighting machines, so of course they've got aimbot. Clear the patrol with the arc thrower. All right. Way better. And now it's way too quiet. There they are. Is that guy using the Star Wars? What? Well, never Did I hear the forbidden word? C4. I'm pretty sure he's using the Star Wars. Deep breath. Deep breath. Okay, I am going to teach him. Go to my crochet class. No. Okay. Enjoy. Yeah. I'll see you after. I shall. I'll see you later. Yeah, bye. Enjoy games. Bye. Bye. Oh, that is a tank I'm looking at. I'm yes. like, what is that? And this is just a tank just chilling there. <laughs> yes. That is why. He did. He wasn't shooting at me, so I didn't even think about it. Can you kind of blend it in? I love how the tank, the freaking annihilator tank with a gigantic barrel, blended in. Oh, it was! <laughs> no, he's using it in normal MG. So he is forgiven. Oh. Um. But he is level 50, so I'm silently judging him. This is Pelican 1. I have visual on the extraction zone. Is he shooting the water? He's shooting the water. I respect that. I respect that very much. Okay, everybody's got everything. You know, Mr. D3, any time now. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Sure, Adrian 14 power moves, but you're gonna have to uh, become a high level channel member first. I only play with my top supporters. So, if you ever decide my stream is worth it in the future, you find yourself hanging out here all the time, sure. Grab a high level channel membership, commit, and I'll join you anytime. Or rather, you could join me anytime. Ah, oh, we only missed the Sam site. Not bad. Okay, good one on Malevolent Creek. Yes, spin, spin. <laughs> okay, what's on the menu Always next? Let's see. I love how Malevolent Creek is just not getting liberated at all. Ugh, let's search in store. Please tell me that there's a better one than that. If 
effects. Call in time 100, not happening. Stratum slots minus one. Okay, reasonable. But it comes with Blitz Search and Destroy, so let's clear that first. This time I'm no foreigner. Synchronized. <laughs> smell divers to smell pods. What about here? What about here? You think you think I'll agree to that, huh? Huh? Punk? Beat you up for that boy. Alright, fine. I'll go where the dog suggests. Just this once. I will choose to respect his opinion. Although I do not even consider him human. <laughs> I'm joking. Hmm. Okay, let me see. You know what? I will try the... I will try the last dagger. The daggerino. Because why not? Could be good, could be bad. Alright. Let's go figure out how this what are you is going to go. Uh, last seven dagger on a scale of one two i'm pretty sure it's gonna suck i'm pretty sure it's gonna suck Launch <laughs> yes <laughs> but we shall see we shall see Stratagem Jammer over there. So, join me. You and me, Arcane. Let's go. Stratagem Jammer. Let's assault it. Attack on Stratagem Jammer. Now! Now! Oh no! Oh my god, the cannon turret just obliterated me. What? <laughs> Dude, I can't shoot past the. What? Some random fern leaf can block my shit. You know what? I don't care. I know. It, it, if it's a leaf or a plant, it doesn't matter. It's gonna block you, and I hate it. How is a laser weapon gonna get blocked by a leaf? Have these people never seen Star Wars? Come on, jeez. Okay. Enemy tactical asset within range. Going in. Charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fix bayonets and charge. Requesting air support. So glad Danny Dog didn't die to that. There is a fabricator. All you gotta do is blow it up. I'll handle it. Okay. I thought someone threw it in there, but I guess not. It's clear. There you go. There you go. Ah, you nerds. Okay. I'm going north. North. Yeah, okay, the base is right there. In Have fun, happy trails. Here comes the Once that base is clear, I'm headed to the next one. Alright! Only two fabricators to go, and then we're getting out of here. So, I'm gonna just abandon you guys. I'm sure you guys got this. Later! Hey, that is a tank. Over there. Why is there a tank? 
What is the point charge. of a tank? A what do you mean charge? Hmm. <laughs> I have an new air strike on that thing. There's no way you're charging it. Okay, it's done. Super grants. Oh, work. Okay, apparently that was not an enemy. Requesting air support. Dropping a pin. Eat 100 meters. I see an automaton Fabrigas. It's over there. Good. seeing some kind of cannon somewhere. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Well, that ain't happening. Reinforcing. Sorry, Danny. Oh, he got super samples. Right. Except that I need to get super. Oh, the other guy already got him. Okay, great. Yeah, he got him. Dang, nobody told me. Okay. Well, I just looked and I was like, oh yeah, they're cut. Okay, acceptable conquest. Okay, happy trails. Let's go see what the new major order is. You have maintained our way of life. <laughs>
There's nothing sweeter than victory in the name of the <laughs> <laughs> I got it that time. <laughs> nothing better to do, huh? Okay, give me a sec, I wanna check the major order. Lori Prime and Zagon Prime. Zagon Prime? Ah, oh, they're all over on this side. Hmm, the next order is 10 minutes again. Why don't the they want us to take Malevolent Creek? Grip. I wonder. Find an opening and break it. In coordinates locked. Something ain't fishy. They don't seem to want us to take Malevolent Creek. Hmm. This is suspicious on Orbit. so many Single levels. Night. So are we back to bots? I mean, uh, bugs? Well, after we finish off this operation here, I will oh, okay. film a video about it. But yes, I'm not sure why. Like I said, suspicious. Why are they not giving us... Why are they not giving us automatons? What are these bots planning? What are they planning? Launch initiated. Take over the whole system. Hmm. They better deploy something interesting. Hey, niece. How's it hanging, pal? Yo. This is it. This is the solemn duty Requesting for which you were Defend democracy at any cost. Requesting backpack. Requesting backpack. That guy landed on top of that cannon tower. And he did. The the dudes blew it up like yo. Respect. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sure. Thank you for making me bleed. Sorry. Sorry. Alright. You better be sorry. Kind of. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go. This nerd. <laughs> gonna blast the gate then everybody can go in all easy peasy Dropping like. a pin. Thousand, meters. all right dirty south let's go Metals. For the ships. yeah the arc door is good but like I said for automatons it's really about a combination I'm lucky that we have some other people handling the devastation here so me and arcane are free to use the arc door otherwise I would have to switch over my role Let's begin the annihilation procedure. That's not to say that the Arc Thor isn't a great weapon. It is. But it's not the be all and end all. You have to understand that. Going in. Ah, oh, damn. Barely missed it. Fire in drills. The Enjoy walking in front of my shots. It's unintentional. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm adjust. I'm still adjusting to this light arc armor. I haven't worn light armor in a hot minute. Imagine wearing light armor. All 
All right, this tree should not block my arc, but it does. So stupid. I got the terminal. But it does. That ain't, yep, see, can't. You generally, you generally want to maintain distance, yeah. But I mean, okay, so it's not just maintain distance blindly. Like you do have to also think about, okay, so if I'm maintaining distance, how likely am I to get killed? You get what I'm saying? You gotta think. This is a tank, I believe. I may require some assistance. Would you so kindly? Because I see loot there, and I want it. Requesting air support. So I'm going to do the thing. Ah, lovely. Got a new subscriber tonight. Ah, new subscriber, lovely. Okay, okay, new right. Yeah. Okay, because I'm moving on further north. Join me. Yeah. I'll be there sh Sending shortly. In I mean, that cannon was there. <laughs> I'm trying to take out the cannon, but uh, it is not like me. God. I got it. No, what? I don't got it. No, you do not. How did that it. not? I don't know, but I'm trying to take it out now. I don't know if this will work. Uh, are you very sure about your position over there? Yeah. Not today! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, hey, that worked. Where's my shit? Seems like I got deleted. I could just. Well, also, one minute, 30 seconds. I like rounded the corner and it was like already aimed at me and it was just like, oh, good, I'm dead. The plasma shotgun? A solid 8 out of 10. It's a very useful weapon. It has its purpose in the field. Uh, UXO. Oh! Did not know you were coming up behind me. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Get them! Get them! I feel that it is the type of weapon that is designed for a purpose. You know what? I'm going to try the laser cannon for a bit. Because I just feel it. I feel it. And if I'm terrible, I'm sorry. I do not apologize. Tagging location. West. Heavy. Good. Good. Bless you. Excuse me. You are partially excused. Got another no. can in here. Be careful. Oh. Hmm. I think I'll have to go back to Mark though. Thinking it, feeling it. Requesting air support. Ah, I found the world's greatest weapon in the Star Wars. Oh, that is a Hulk, and it was just creeping up on me. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Dude, these bots are stealthy. Yeah, but like, what? Yeah, squished it. That's what it deserves. How dare it kill the legend. That was a nice little drop in though. So, yep. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm going back east. 
There's the detector tower and also some other stuff. Sending in an eagle. I am, however, going to call back my arc door because hell no. Metals and sample. The disappointment is palpable for all of us. Found something. Good. Rare samples. Requesting air support. Oh, that's a grenade. I'm just testing out. I'm just testing out uh, this loadout here. See Ending if it'll work. Eagle. See if it'll help. Ah, he called in a hell bomb. Great. I like that. Ion storm in progress. Lovely jumping. Oh, heal. Heal. Oh, he managed to do it. I like that. Now come on, blast it. Seems like y'all needed some assistance with the Scout Striders. They have been handled. Calling down objective equipment. Stupendous dive. Clear. But yeah, plasma shotgun, solid eight. It can kill you. Good weapon overall. Not a bad choice. And, um, it does have its weaknesses, but it's pretty good overall. More strengths than weaknesses, really. I like it a lot. Although I gotta say, the sickle is very competitive. Engaging terminal. Okay. Dropping a pin. North, 50 meters. I believe that's my cue to go get the pod done. Oh, this guy wants it? Okay. Then if he wants to do it, then I'll head there. Good luck, Mr. C4. We're going elsewhere time we went oh oh those are bots very angry bots arcane they are dropping into your yeah right there sending in an eagle don't get killed Good news, I have assisted you. Bad news, I'm pretty sure we're still under attack. Yes. Say hello to democracy. I don't know what's blasting us. Oh, I almost fell on the hole. Watch out for the hole. Oh. I almost fell on it. Okay. They are coming from the water and they're aimbotting at us, so I say we run. Draw them into a, Running. a better fight. Yep. Watch out for that crew on the right. Oh, well, I'm just gonna adjust their attitude. There we go. What group? No group. Groups are a lie. 
me your propaganda. Damn it, tree. The plasma shotgun is definitely very good. I do like it a lot. It does a lot. The only weakness is that, number one, it can kill you. And number two, uh, well, it it doesn't have a lot of magazine capacity. So sometimes if you don't aim right, you're still not going to kill the devastators and stuff. But sickle is much more forgiving in that regard. I really like the sickle against automatons. It is a worthwhile weapon. Excuse me. And this guy, instead of using the Arctor like a real warrior, he just decides to blitz prank it up. God, I love it. It's so much fun. It's weak, is what it is. This design is designed not for combat. Where's the uh, assault charger? I'm set. <laughs> right. Okay, there's a hole. Oh, but there's a hole. Oh, there. Yep, yep. Dude. Damn, what the hell? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I got okay. ragged all to death. There's two of them. That's why I was like, why are you charging up there? There's hulks. <laughs> Please, use your eyeballs. Now we are dead. And we have no stuff. Uh, please throw me in when you can. Oh. If we both have stuff, we might stand a chance. Thank you. Oh, that's a good throw. Come on, come on. That work. Uh, I thought I got them all. No worries, because oh no! Don't go in! Don't go in! Don't go in! Oh God! Run! I'm on fire! <laughs> you better run. It's coming up, by the way. Liberty, save me! Hey, I can get behind it now. Sweet. There we go. Oh, there's another. Of course. Yeah, there's three of them. Mmm. Spicy. Okay. Good. There was a scout strider. Where's the third hole? I already killed them all. Grand. Okay. I mean, it's technically almost hit scan. The projectile only really matters at very far distances. But the cool part about it is shooting the uh, spore spewers at like 300 meters, which is really nice. Okay. As soon as the door is activated, I will start open. pushing the civilians through. Yep. Ah, good. They can, they can actually run past the uh, corpse of the Hulk. Now, why do these machines bleed? I must know. Should they not be composed of oil? It looks like they are bleeding, yes. They appear to have blood. Could be oil. Could just be red-colored oil. You never know. But based on what I'm seeing with my torch... Oh, they bleed. Ah, of course. Mm, I don't know.
Did we call in supplies? Oh, I'm down here. Yep. That Heavy. is very, very unfriendly. 50 meters. He's stuck. He ain't stuck no more. Not anymore. Not anymore. He is attempting to adjust his attitude from a distance. It is not working. Oop, D3. Phew. Lucky boy. Okay, great. Yes, vamos time. It's time to clear. All right, right on. Dude, there's this audio glitch that I've just been hearing this whole time. It's driving me insane. What is this audio glitch? Calling in an eagle. Uh, just little beeps, like constantly, constantly going. Ah, very good. Mission at 20 minutes remaining. I called in supplies and didn't even pick them up. Damn. What a waste. <laughs> well, there should be some at this old tower. There was none at the old tower, damn. You may proceed to extraction when ready. I definitely want to see more intensive weather. I think that ion storms are already the deadliest out of all of them. Like, like I want to see, like, I mean, you no, know, what it does is cool. Like, I want to see it visually. Hmm. Tagging location. Now be I like this guy because he says yes, sir. He understands. He understands the commanding officer. He knows his place. Yeah. See, people say I kick randos all the time. No, if you call me your superior officer and kneel before the Lord, then of course I will respect you a little bit. Just time. And I may even allow you to breathe some oxygen once in a while. Ah, good. He brought them to extraction. And now, where are those tanks? They are not here. Woo all these blue beams. Now. Aha! I see them coming this way from the north. Fear no enemy. Well, the car lies my strength. The jetpack? Ew. Okay. Southeast. There they are. Oh, good. The tree is gone. Yeah, now we can actually fire our weapons, eh? Checking. Uh, more from southeast. Damn it. Stop him in time. Yeah, sorry. Heavy. 
Halts. Okay, guys. Yeah, and I'm on. Come on, slowly. Just gonna crawl on. Yep. <laughs> Listen, there's only one way to survive: crawl. Crawl for victory. An achievement. Yes. Oh, shoot off both arms. Yeah. Well, that means the Hulk was must have still been there at the end. Yeah, I've got that oh. one already. I could have swore I already had that, but... Yeah. Not... I thought we already got that one, because I've done it before. And I know I've definitely shot off both arms. Right. Okay... Nisk is playing Hell Divers. Dang. What? <laughs> Come on in, voice pal. Except that uh, I'm already on my last mission. <laughs> I don't know, Jason. A lot of dead bots down there. Maybe they will. It might be interesting to actually have stats on the helmet, therefore giving it some purpose. Yo. Are you joining? Mission yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, give me a second. I would keep, keep Danny. Yeah, I'm keeping Danny. He's been here the longest. Damn, did you guys make friends? Yeah, yeah you can keep them. Danny's actually been pretty cool. Orbit you know what? How about we, um... Okay, waiting for you, Nisk. We got the spat already. All right, been get in. Danny's been pretty cool. We'll see how cool Danny is. <laughs> we'll see how flame resistant he is. Uh, these are automatons, buddy. They're bots, so please bring something appropriate for it. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather you not get annihilated instantly. You should <laughs> okay? have never said that, buddy. <laughs> hey, listen, Arcane said it, not me, okay? What? Yeah, I know, I heard his ass. Don't throw me in this. <laughs> you, hey, don't throw me hey. You started. Arcane, all I'm gonna say is you better not stand next to a ledge, buddy. <laughs> hey, we better win this, alright? You fuck around too much, I will annihilate you. By the way, the jump pack is free, so you don't have to bring one if you're if you're planning on it. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. Everybody Is gets that the like jump a mission, pack. mission thing? Yes, everybody gets the jump oh, pack. Gotcha. But we only have three stratagems, so plan accordingly. And if you die, well, too bad. Um, you want to do the hell pod? Also, hell pod space optimization. Sure, buddy. Let's see. Um, I know what I'll do. I'll have a job. Ah, recall this, but then you can't use jet pack. But I don't mind that. You I'm, know what? That's all right. To... I want to see if armor? I can Good. shoot down these ships. Yes, you can. Just hit the engine, and you'll be able to do it easy peasy. I know. I just want to see if, like, if I, I personally can do it well. Yeah. I feel that you can. Okay. Then me and Arcane will frontline as per normal. If we die, well, <laughs> start we panicking. <laughs> The way to complete bot missions is to crawl the entire mission. Bet. Oh, yeah. Okay, what the hell is wrong with you? You ever just have, like, you know, like a really good, like, nose blow? No. No, like, you never, like, blow your nose and it's like, oh, yeah, like. No, good. no, no, nobody says it like that, buddy. Yeah, right. Dude. Okay, there's a bot drop coming in. You keep your weird shit to yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go rain some airstrike on that base. Dude, they drop the shit instantly, bro. How am I supposed to shoot that down? Well, when it's coming in, yeah.
That is a shredder tank. I'm dead. Shredder tank is past all of that. Okay, hopefully that 500 gets him. Sword, sword for hands, sword for hands. Chainsaw sword for, for hands. hands. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> hey, I dropped it some loot. Sick. Okay, not sick. Take my grenades. There's a tank here. No! Annihilated tank. Oh, is there another tank? Sword for hands, get him. Sword for hands. Love it. Listen, I'm just gonna come up here and grab my shit, okay? Now I'm ready. Ooh, watch out. Oh, it's dead already, is it? No, no, that's an actual mortar oh, no, cannon. Not, not. Yeah, watch out for the mortar. The, 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 the gun, it's turning. Yeah, that's why I'm standing right underneath it where it can't get me. I'm gonna zap it. There we go. It Nicely is. settled. Okay, great. So we're going yeah, there yeah. first. Yeah. Meters. Oh, shit. Now, there's an illegal broadcast station, Nice. You can blow it up if you can uh, cite the... Uh... Is that it? That's, that's it over there? Hold on, I'll tell oh, you. Oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, there it is. Okay. See that? I see some loot over there. Okay. We'll get it soon. We'll get it. I just need you to blow up this uh, station for me. Okay, cat. Get out of here. Cat started walking all on my keyboard. Okay. What part do I blow up? You see those TV screens up top? That's it. Yep. Oh, robot stream is on there? Yeah, exactly. So blow it up. It's an illegal uh, broadcast of my stream. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pay for that shit. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm just broadcasting it to everybody. <laughs> it's just showing up as one viewer. Yeah, damn. Yeah, That's like damn. Sad, man. They got all these motherfuckers watching it. Yeah. You know they should actually make the illegal broadcast station. Like, if they ever have a creator program, and I'm invited, then they should make it so that a person's stream will just be up on there. That would be cool. That it would, would be. It would cool. be. It would be like a cool bit of immersion. Arcane, you and Danny look like you're in slight trouble. Oop! Like, shit, wait, sorry, it would show. You. It would show like the live stream like that. Damn. Of that day. Yeah, my apologies for that, Arcane. You know, can't save them all. That, yeah, that'll be sick. It would be sick, wouldn't it? Eh? We could put me diving off of a rock on there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> listen, listen, guys. We got actual elites uh, coming in over there. That's a halt. So I'm gonna throw in an eagle and pray for the best. I think that Hulk's coming in. Yeah, sucker. Ooh, it doesn't like me. It's focusing on me. Back up. There we go. Right, Thank right. you. See? Good job. See? You're better than Danny. Oh, wasn't me that did it, but I'll take the credit. <laughs> Actually, it was. It was your rocket. I didn't shoot it. <laughs> then who the frick shot the rocket? I didn't, Danny. I didn't have a rocket. It was probably Danny. Lol! Yeah, Danny wins! <laughs> Nice, you nerd. Why? You brought the rocket and Danny got it? I'm waiting for another ship to come through, alright? Damn, bruh. Just get outshined by Danny. That's alright. It's right by me. I got better dives. <laughs> Whatever. Watch out, grenade! Well, gee, thanks. Trying to murder you, commanding you officer. Yeah, I didn't throw that. Damn! I'm just getting all the credit. <laughs> and they got oh, a bot no. drop. Okay. So when the ship comes in, yeah, it should be coming in over on that side. So. You might get there. You go. There you go. There's a chance. There it yeah. goes. There's another, and that one's got the tank. Oh, you better have to reload now. Okay. <laughs> Yeet all the grenades on it. Yeet all the grenades on it. Hey. What's the arcane strategy? Throw four grenades Only on it. Oh, he's shields. Yep, we got him dealing. Dealing. What's the yeah, arcane take a grenade, bitch. Throw four take grenades grenade. on the tank and pray. 
Yes. Yes, it is. Ooh, ooh, big guy, big guy, big guy. <laughs> Get out of here. It, it just it worked hands. so well. Ah! Did you, did you just not kill that Hulk? I don't know. It's still it looking at me. By something. No, it's not. I it's think there was two of them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, I'll trust you on this one time. I, I can't tell when somebody dies or not, though. Especially like through the explosion. <laughs> okay, this power gen's done. Dropping a pin. Southwest, 200 meters. Everybody armed and ready? Alright. Armed and dangerous. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Can it with the Flintstones. We got a stratagem jammer over there. Do I shoot that? No. We can't. Okay. Stratagems will be jammed, so we're gonna have to take that out. It's a priority target. You can't shoot it from a distance? No. Nope. Like out of its range? No. Nope. Oh shit, Jetpack McGee! Yeah, he's done. Ow! He freaking lit me on fire. What a nerd. Alright, we're going straight for that. Now we gotta clear out the base and then I'll take care of that thing. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Anybody got a grenade for this one? For this outpost? Oh shit! Oh shit! Bitch! Yeah! Where do I throw it at? Um, okay, there'll be a vent at the top of the building. I'll show it to you. Alright, you got no you gotta go around here. Oh I see, I see, I see. There's a vent and an opening. Clear that. You throw the grenade inside that vent. Are you using impact grenades? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That one's a bit different. Lame. Yeah, you have to hit either. You have to, it has to go through the door or it has to go into the lip. I have to save my impact grenade, so I'm going to take out the stratagem jammer. This one, you don't have to actually like do anything important on it. So, Arcane will clear the way for me. Okay, Arcane moving ahead in front of you. There's some Warframe shit right here. Woo! Okay. Is there any way to turn your flashlight off on your gun? Press and hold the R button. Oh, you got it. Nice. Press and hold the R button. You can turn your, you can change your flashlight settings. Good work. Okay, nice. Okay. I never knew. Nope. I see him. No! I did it too fast. I couldn't react. That's okay. Alright, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I look up for a ship that looks scary. Well, it's gonna be right on top of us, so. Here they that come! That looks okay. Uh, Arcane, I threw in. A. Okay, that I'm sorry, guy. Empty, but whatever. No, I. It was the whole. He got blasted. Danny, no! Yeah, uh, it's okay. Oops. Tossing it in there. To your left. Gonna get some more common samples. Okay, I don't know. Your stuff was over here, that I shot down. Listen, you shot it down. That's all that matters. Good job. It looked like it was empty. Does that ever happen? Uh, it might contain hulks or something. It might look like it's empty, but you never know what it'll actually contain. Okay, did we resupplied yet? Maybe it had these oh, in okay. it. Jesus, Nisk. Jesus. <clears throat> Double dip. Because I'm just that cool. Oh, whoa. I'm stuck on nothing. You ever uh, stare somebody in the eyes as you double dip in a shared um, thing of sauce? Oh. No? See, some people are uncomfortable with double dipping. I look them straight in the face. Double dip, lick the dip off the chip, and then dip it again. 
But that's just me, you know. Well, aren't you a little savage? I got a bot horde on me, so I'll be a little late joining you guys. I missed. Yikes, our chain. You wanna get shot with this gun? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all handle that. Okay, bot horde taking off. Oh, well, Arcane failed over here, so we're gonna need you, robot. <laughs> I don't oh. think anybody over here has the name. I'm just throwing an eagle on that fabricator. If anyone's in that area, goodbye. Oh. I don't waste time. Just throw a stratagem. Go. Gatling barrage not good for clearing trees? Probably not. Oh Maybe. shit! Help, chainsaws! Run toward me, run toward me. No, don't worry, I got him, I got a revolver. Bitch, sit down. <laughs> okay, I do need help. Then run toward me. Okay, I see you. I got this. Did these guys. Head is the weak spot, by the way. Sit down, bitch. Sit down, bitch. Sit down, bitch. Um, please do not try and melee the chainsaw people. Okay, Berserker's down. <laughs> so come on, man. They're uh, they're weak to pistol whips. Boy, I will beat you. Mm. PC specs. Unfortunately, I do not cover that. I usually only reveal my graphics card, which is RTX 3080. The reason is because I'm not a tech channel. So if you guys want uh, tech help or what kind of PC specs you need for that kind of stuff, I suggest going to a dedicated channel for that. I'm a gaming channel, so I apologize for not being able to help you. Most of my PC advice comes from my friends, so I know nothing much about PCs. I handle the creation work. They handle the, hey, dude, do this. And I'm I've like, got okay. this one. Because you're a hardware gatekeeper, dude. No. If I knew that, what to get Danny, you, I would. <laughs> Danny just said, uh, so screw the large base, question mark. I'm on the terminal. Ooh, rock. But it wasn't a rock. Damn it, I can't get up here. They don't have a flying pack. Well, I appreciate you sacrificing your flight for the mission. That is respectful. This is the most understanding random I think I've ever played with. This is the only random that actually follows instructions, so I agree. By the way, a bot dropped you know on Nisk. Are you I'm ready? gonna add him. Yes. What's in there? Tank in there. Dude, it's not fair! Damn it! That's okay. I don't know. If you, I don't know if you saw how he, the hell that like shit moved, bro. But he like swooped in and then like rose up and dropped it instantly. So how was I ever supposed to hit that? Mm, don't worry. There are other ways to deal with these. For you, <laughs> Renna. Alright, go for it. Dropping a pin. Come here, swords of hands, buddy. Damn! There are devastators over there. Adjusting their attitude right now. Okay, we're clear. Fucking bright. I know, right? Destroy those lights. I don't like seeing them. Oh, using the revolver, huh? 
Huh? Me? No. Nope. Arcane? Oh, Arcane probably. He, he wants to be like me so bad, dude. Did you just shoot Arcane Shield? No, that was uh, Danny. <laughs> I literally saw you Ooh, shoot a shield. Big, big group over there. Yeah, that's why we're not ignoring it. Um, to take you on. To take on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we're headstrong. We're headstrong. <laughs> My head's strong. Now, I promise. Denial, denial is all that I know. Holding me hostage, I'm better alone. Fighting for air, I'll fight to survive. My soul's not for sale and I won't pay the price. What is that, the Pokemon song? No. That's Scars, man. Similar band to the one that did hit strong. Cannon turret on my ass. Danny, no! Calling in extraction. Don't worry, Danny boy. It'll be just fine. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle invalid. Is everything not enough? Down the Requesting tech -tech. Damn, I wish I would've woke up earlier, man. Yeah, no, but I got like, I got stuck in two different dreams, dude. It was crazy. There's a stratagem jammer over there. Mm, so tempted. So tempted. Can I do it in one minute and 30 seconds? Probably Challenge! Not. Don't leave without me, guys. Yay! Ooh, bot drop coming in. Okay, Nisk, you handle that. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, I've got one minute, 12 seconds. Dropships. Please tell me this is one with the fabricator attached. It is, okay. I Bro. Stand a chance. Bitches. See, how do they not die from that? I don't understand. Oh, shit. I think I did it! I think I did it! All hail the conquering hero! I've got no stamina, so don't leave without me. I'm coming back. Uh, damn it. ETA T-30 seconds. Damn, what was that explosion? Y'all got a bile titan there or something? Oh. Wait! How did I kill myself? With magic. But honestly, it's probably the jump, the jump trooper. Oh no, Arcane. Okay, everybody in the shuttle. Come on, you nerds. Crawling in there. Get in there. <laughs> and I cleared that jammer too. Okay, that is the last one for me today. Good session, everybody. I'm going to go film a quick video on the Major Order. But we will discuss it before then. Of course, Arcane, thank you for accompanying me today. Nisk, you too. How are you? Now, tomorrow morning I won't be around. I'm getting a haircut, but I'll be back in the evening. Dude, I was gonna get a haircut too tomorrow, bro. Do you wanna get the same haircut? Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? Because.
because I don't have such lovely hair like you do, okay? You want me to get the same haircut as you? No. Why not? Because you yeah. do not have hair like me. <laughs> you want to just buzz it? We can get the same haircut that way. <laughs> no. Now that is what I call a profitable Lame. use of resources. <laughs> Dude, come on, we, we can go to Arcane, bro. He can cut our hair. Yep. Come on. Okay. I got you. You had to support his business. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. Okay. And congratulations on completing your training. This is the best rando so far out of all the ones that we've had. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, actually cooperative and follow freaking orders. <laughs> the galaxy <laughs> awaits your salvation. I think tomorrow. I think that's all the luck we have, Randos. Tomorrow we're just gonna get some freaking weirdos existing and breathing. Well, Fernand, the current major order right now is against the Terminates again, which is why it's so sus. It's only a two-day, eighteen-hour major order. We gotta take over Zagon Prime and Fori Prime, so we're gonna fight the Zigzagoons and some kind of. Uh, whatever these things are but anyway in order the problem is right in order to get to Zagon Prime we need a we need a space route there so that means we have to liberate Hellmire and then Oshaun and then Zagon Prime I'm assuming we have to liberate Astanu to get to Fori Prime because we can't get to Fori Prime without it so that's my guesstimate we've only got two days 18 hours so I don't know whether this is gonna this is gonna work well or not, but it's deadly. It's a very, it's quite an extreme major order. So I'll do a little video about it after this, and uh, we'll see. Now tomorrow we've got to rush, 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 rush. The Stanu needs to go down ASAP. So we are gonna contribute to the Liberation Front at the fastest possible speed. Uh, I don't know how to get to Zagon Prime actually because Hellmire, Nivelle, and Zagon maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, we'll try and do what we can. Anyway, either way. Alright. Mm -hmm. Nice. Jesus Christ. What do you mean, bro? Me and Arcane over here hugging. Okay, whatever, you filthy weirdos. Chest to All chest. Right. So, breast ladies and gents, tomorrow that's what we're going to do, and we'll try and get it done it in Back three days. Alright. See y'all tomorrow. I am done with these weirdos. Good night. Catch y'all tomorrow evening. No morning stream. I got to get my hair cut.